we hope there's no stupid de-thinking, alright? Don't want any stupidness, any silliness. Hey, <laughs> This is how I start this thing. Just hoping. I do not. I do not ask for stream issues. Wait, have I? Did I save that? Did I change the title yet? I don't know. Hmm. Nah. Eh, where? Ah, okay. It's gotta do the thing. I can go to the stream manager, right? Can I chat in it? Can. So, BBB. That was a clicking, clicking on the stream. Thank you. And make sure you log in. Before we start, um, I want to... <laughs> quickly, we must do this quickly. Hopefully, I won't be sleepy. Like last stream. This time, I'm not sleepy, I think. I only had four hours of sleep. But it was like a short while ago. So, still feeling kind of fresh. And I start streaming way early today, which I'm very happy about. It's during the time when internet is super fast. So hopefully the internet won't be an issue. Though it may be super fast, but sometimes it can be cut off suddenly. Maybe a little bit of mishap, but at least it is super fast. Super duper fast. That's all we need. Okay, let me copy and paste the thing. Hmm. Yeah, really, really. I really, actually, was so tempted to, to color instead. To start coloring. I finished the line art yesterday. Line art for the sketchbook. I change a lot. Change a lot, so it looks like kind of way different from the last time you saw the line art. You will see. Maybe not tomorrow. I try not to push myself to <laughs> stream every day. Just give myself a little break. Just a tiny bit of break. Though we don't have the luxury to take vacations. We gotta do our art as much as possible. Hope everyone is doing well. Right now it's Wednesday now. We gonna stream till the morning. Then we do the kitty cat chores. Okay, we're done this with that, right? Mm, do I need to do anything else? I don't think so. Have to make sure... <laughs> go to my own screen. I have to check every time. Now, because I'm paranoid by the audio desync. Maybe every 30 minutes, I'll check. Yeah. It sounds like a good plan. Okay. Oh, I yeah. It's probably too low, I think. Oh, I cannot increase the gain of my microphone. There's no such option on mobile. Okay. Okay, I think we're done here. Just hope, just hope it's fine here. 
that. Let's change the scene. Let's do our best. Okay, here. We're at the scene. It's okay. Oh yeah, Thunder Lord Yamber, thank you for the follow. We'll address that during our our stream. Okay, let's go here. Boop. What is that other app that I see? I don't know. I forgot to close it, I think. Okay, we're here. Fine. I think it's fine. Let's this is our first check of the desync. Down, up, down, up. Okay. We'll check back in in 3 minutes. Okay. Where were we? So, I've upgraded the party. There's nothing new. Oh, this, this new event come upcoming soon. Um, this is part of the Seruel series that I plan to do. The Dragon Blood War. Let's see. Wait, let me open the series that I write. Where is it? Yeah, Seruel and Nois. We start with Heroes Return and then. Amped up summer and then the dragon blood war. We'll see it sooner or later. Oh, gotta check the. Oh, I forgot. Forgot to do the pin. Got a pin first. Pin. Let me pin this. Do a quick pin. Yeah, I guess tomorrow I won't stream. I'll take a little, a little break, just a tiny break. Just drawing and chilling in someone else's stream. Today we gotta do Barawas. Okay. Okay. Okay, though. I don't remember the last where we last left off actually. I was so sleepy, my brain was out. I don't know what happened. So where do we go back? How do we go back, I mean? Doko Doko de Ah This right? Yes. We were Ah we stopped at chapter 2 and then I got too sleepy, I couldn't handle it. I was dozing off while they're talking. Almost clicked the skip button. So, we continue. Oh yeah, we should check the audio too. I think it's appropriate, right? Um, I... Uh, I stacked up some more so that the my phone is the same level as me. <laughs> but feel free to tell me if it's too loud or it's too low. Okay. With that, we continue. Thank you for clicking on my stream again. All right. Da da. We continue. Fire. Um. In yeah. Inside story, we cannot bring anything other than Belial. But there's no Belial, so we bring normal Belial. So fire, right? I change my my what's the word? My party to be fire based now. Alrighty, I prep everything up. <laughs> Is it over? I sure wish that dastard would cut it out with the surprises. I don't know what happened previously. <laughs> we just continue where we left off. Last left off. Hmm. 
<laughs> that scared me. Phantom Teeth got a mean bag of tricks. Hmm. Detective, if I may, Choto e desu ka? Wait, don't know. Uh, what is it, Saria? I have a feeling that monster attack was hastily improvised. Hmm. Maybe Chat Noir is starting to panic. <laughs> it is also an elementary word. He <laughs> said Naruhodo only. Naruhodo, I see, Zarya. If he's trying to disrupt the questioning. No, I kinda want to check. Can't wanna check the volume again. They're speaking volume. My theory is that he is among these three here must be correct. Oh yeah, last time. Okay, now I remember. So he says he thinks that there are um the three 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 people here as Chat Noir and this guy, so we're trying to investigate that. Okay, now I remember. We first interviewed the butler called Hector or Itar. And then I got so sleepy. <laughs> so we stopped. I kinda want to increase it some more. Let's be careful when gathering more information so we don't spook Chat Noir. Okay. Hmm. Whose story shall we hear next? How about you, the staff member? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> so robotic. <laughs> what should we ask first? Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh. I usually start my stream with reading, doing side quests, but oh well. Next time then. <laughs> Okay, so we have to ask everything. <laughs> I am an employee of this casino. What does that what does that job consist of? <laughs> you don't suspect him of anything. Card dealing, house cleaning. Concierge, I do whatever is needed. It's like Team Rocket's level of disguise. <laughs> hmm. Incidentally, when did you start working at a casino? Please. <laughs> I do not remember when I started here. Time had passed so quickly before I knew it. Hmm, um, Namara, don't you think the way he's talking is a little sus? No, it press him. <laughs> press him, leave it alone now, press him. Uh, gotta get this over with. Um, there's something about your voice. <laughs> I have acquired, unfortunately, a cold, and the condition of my throat is not good. Geho, <laughs> go. Hmm, yes, but I meant the way you speak is unique. <laughs> that is how we speak in my birthplace. And may I ask where that might be? 
Even though you were born there? That's enough, Saria. Sometimes if you push somebody too far, it can have the opposite effect of what you want. Mm. <laughs> You're right. It's better if he doesn't think we suspect him. So, what shall we ask about next? Uh, why did you come to the casino? The work, of course. He said something more, but he don't know. <laughs> Why did you decide to work at a jewel resort specifically? <laughs> Gosh, I wanted Lady Christy to notice me with her kind and luscious heart. What does that mean? What does luscious heart mean? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wait. I think he got whipped and then he's supposed to be screaming. Dang <laughs> How can you say something so ridiculous at a time like this? I don't recall ever teaching my toads to act, to act like this. Ah, oh, so she does call my, her employees her toads. We still see her very big glass of red wine. Oh, Ribena. Black currant juice. So, what shall we ask about next? Ah, uh, the third right? Why didn't I read? I think, where were you at the time of the incident? I received orders from my master. Who? <laughs> Your master? You mean Christina? <laughs> No, I did not say that. Cough, cough. <laughs> um, when the monsters came into the hall, I was on a break. No, wait. I was definitely thinking about going to buy supplies. <laughs> in any event, I was not in the hall. Naruhodo. Naruhodo. I see. Thank you. That's enough. Detective. There is something wrong with this person. What do you mean, Saria? He looks perfectly normal. I'm pretty sure everything is wrong with this person. <laughs> but one thing stands out like a sore eyeball. <laughs> she even said this. The part where he said orders from my master. Cough, cough. Right? <laughs> so what shall we ask about it? No more. I don't have anything I want to ask. <laughs> Are we all done with questioning? Ye, finish. Well, we better not push too hard on that point. Hama Hama. So this me. Yes, I agree. Ato Ato Skoshizitjo Homo Hikidaste. Kete Tekina Shoko ni Musibitski Masha. Let's get the information out of him little by little. Then we can tie it all together into conclusive evidence. Nani say, 
I've never met such a suspicious person. Sus. Do not be very sus. Okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Uh. Okay. In 10 more minutes, I'll fix it. <laughs> yep, as bad as they come. Now on to... Oh. A monster. The wooden monsters. Mamo no des. <laughs> oh, monsters, monsters, help me! <laughs> what? They're after the worker, dude. Oh no. This is bad. Where our suspicions turn against us, and now he's trying to erase this guy. Shall we do? Kick ass. Let's just beat them up for now. Uh, watch out though, they seem stronger than the last one, Samara. Oh really? I bring my VIP. My VIP mess her this time. And you're still the same level. Still the same level. I know, I'll bring Belial so, for this one to bless this stream. No dissenting, please. That's all I ask. Make sure your booba helps with the no dissenting. Oh, and I'm kind of lazy to click on the, all the buttons, I guess. Just go full. I'm not clicking. <laughs> go ham. Go use all the skills. VIP, VIP. <laughs> hmm, I guess I don't need to... Oh, hello, Yamper. Hi, ah, is this a mobile game? Yeah, it's a mobile game. It's, it's about sky faring. We're like sky pirates. Except we don't... We don't... Uh, what? Break any law. Except for this one time. And that other time. <laughs> but yeah, basically we're... Ah, uh, yeah. Adventuring in the skies. And right now, we're doing a side story. Of one of the characters. Called Detective Barawa. That's what we're doing. How are you, Yamper? Hope you're doing well. Did it? We continue. We just do a lot of reading in this game. At least when I'm streaming. When I'm off streaming, I do a lot of grinding. Ah, oh, miscellaneous. And I set myself these stupid rules when I play on stream. What the hell? Cannot have anyone? Okay. <laughs> I'm doing well, waiting for my pedals for my sim racing to arrive. Pedals? Oh, we're going to drive IRL. You have the wheels? Not wheels, I mean the, the steering wheel to play it with. Will they be arriving today? No, I do steam racing, like... I race... I racing? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but I don't... I don't really know about steam racing much. So forgive my ignorance. Forgive my dumbness. <laughs> Is that the name of the game? I racing? But I hope they arrive soon. <laughs> Phew, it's one thing after another. This may well be the biggest challenge that I, the great detective Barawa, have ever faced. 
ここまで危ない目にあったのは確かに初めてですね30 minutes or so を、oh, very soon We wait together Oh yeah, welcome to my stream、um, I usually do art stream But today I need to finish this side story before I continue with my art Last time I didn't finish this side story, I was too sleepy Not today, I think I can never guarantee I can say it's a It's an expensive hobby. I think gaming is honestly an expensive hobby. Well, depending on what games you play, you play on console or PC. Except maybe mobile. <laughs> Because I, this is a free to play game. You don't need to pay anything unless you want to. <laughs> You can pay up to 2000 euro to get started. Wow, wait, that's a lot. I will never. But as long as you're having fun with it and you have the funds to, to do it, then, then it's good. <laughs> okay, this is the first time that Chat Noir has, has ever used such violent methods. Ooh. Very weak methods, though. <laughs> you think the Phantom Thief is getting desperate? I mean, why is he doing this to us? For fanzies. <laughs> Chat Noir's motives are unclear. <laughs> But it's my opinion that he's not here simply to steal something. It's more like he's out to grab the world's attention. What? What the heck? So you're saying he's just a big showboat? I don't have any proof to back it up though. Just a woman's intuition. Nah, it doesn't. What the heck? You, you changed your voice. It's best not to completely ignore that intuition though. Maybe you're actually Shanoa in disguise. Your voice changed. I agree. I've seen many a dealer fall when luck favors that intuition. Truly a terrifying sight. So, hmm. That's enough small talk. Teres, it's time for your questioning. Does he just go? Me? Yeah, yeah, you. Maybe she's a trans girl. No, she. I think she, she sounded different in the. In my last playthrough, she was having a cough. A coughing. She was. Ah,、uh, what? She swallowed so much dust in the previous scene. And now she changed her voice. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we have to question everyone who didn't escape with us. Very well. While you may have been fighting the monsters to ensure the safety of the guests, we must do this by the book. Yeah, no one. Everyone gets questions.、Hmm. Prove your innocence, Teres.、Hmm. I guess it's the same. The same voice actress. Wish he had a coughing fit. <laughs> I understand. Okay. What shall we ask? Ah, those three questions again. Who the hell are you? Who the heck are you? Hell no, you're not. I'm a bunny waitress. No, you're not. My job is to entertain the casino guests in the main hall. 
I see. And what does that entail? I sometimes play cards with the guests. Hmm, there doesn't seem to be anything particularly suspicious here. Hmm, I think something's not quite right about what she's saying though. Hmm, sus. So sus. Today we be sussing a lot. Sus. What shall we ask? Why did you come to the casino? The glitz and gla glamour of a place like the Jewel Resort has always had a special place in my heart. I told myself when I grow up, I want to make sure everyone enjoys playing cards. So I studied the rules for all sorts of casino games. I don't not know. Was your original aim to become a card dealer? <laughs> hmm. Yes, actually. Hmm. 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 <laughs> but that doesn't mean I'm unhappy being a bunny waitress. I hop along with pride. What the hell? <laughs> Making sure the guests enjoy their games is fun too. Yeah, see, Therese, what are you saying? And why is your voice? Why your voice changed? Nah, so she's a different person. Earlier, you were super embarrassed to be dressed as a bunny. Bunny. And shall we ask? Where were you at the time of the incident? Fess up. Well, no. That's not Therese at all. When the terribly scary monsters came into the hall, I was so terrified. I grabbed a sword, but it might as well have been a prop. I couldn't stop shaking. All I could do was hop around in a panic. What the hell this? Therese, have you lost your marbles? We don't have any more. I don't have anything I want to ask. Are we all done with questioning? Teresa Mera. Yeah, everyone is sus. Finish questioning. Is it a shapeshifter that took her place? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> We're searching for the phantom thief, and right now we're in the middle of investigating among the three suspects we interviewed. Who? Um, he disguised as. We'll see, we'll see. Me don't know either. <laughs> That's about as far as we go. So, that was Sus. Suspicious. So, this the greed, but it was a completely coherent testimony. Is it? Still, I have a bad feeling about this. Noni, what? Keeping your opponent's attention in one place while you prepare something elsewhere is a common trick. 
この尋問自体が回答者のワールの罠だったとしたらそんな予感がしてしまって That's what worries me. This interrogation could be part of Chat Noir's trap. <laughs> Just checking this thinking right now. <laughs> okay, no desync. No desync. I see. Then we should speed things up. Right, let's resolve this before Shad Noir can make a move. <laughs> Alright, Amara, things are going to get a little rough. As if it's not rough since the beginning. <laughs> What? Rough? What do you mean? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> It's time to capture the thief. Initiate Operation Back the Chat. <laughs> Back the Chat. Back the Chat. <laughs> oy, oy. That came out of the left field. <laughs> exactly. He won't be expecting this either. <laughs> The Phantom Thief is one of the three people we just interrogated. That much is certain. This is one of the side stories that we have to use 100% of my brain power, which is a lot. I barely use 5%. <laughs> we'll force the Phantom Thief to expose himself with the testimonies and capture him here and now. The Phantom Thief is a formidable opponent. opponent. Amara, please lend us a hand. Wow, you guys do it yourself. I just want to watch. <laughs> This is getting tense. Shad Noir likes to toy with people by moving quickly and playing tricks. So you think it's the girl that has a different voice? Yeah, exactly her. She's very sus, even though the second guy is robotic. <laughs> But Therese is very sus. However, it's likely that he's lacking in combat ability. He cannot fight. <laughs> He compensates for this inadequacy with his mechanical minions. <laughs> Let's see, you are right. Feel free to guess too. They are never far from Chat Noir. In fact, there's probably one in this very room. I'm probably wrong though. Oh, maybe two suspects. One, the, one is the actual Chat Noir and the other is just an assistant. In other words, we should bear in mind at least one of the suspects is a machine. Yeah. Not knowing much, but if we go by what you say, I think you may hurt too. Yeah. Maybe we'll see. By taking it a step further, I have deduced that there is probably only one. The minions need to mimic Sky Dwellers so well that it wouldn't be possible for him to have prepared multiple others. Therefore, there is only one innocent person here. Use the evidence we've gathered to bring both Shad Noir and his machine minion to justice. No, you're asking me to use my brain? The most dumbass person in this room? 
Be careful not to hurt the innocent person. They will just give the real culprits a chance to escape. Well, if I fail, I... It's game over? It counts as a death? In my no death run? No, I don't want it. Now I'm scared. If that happens, all the investigating we've done so far will have been for nothing. Judge carefully a mirror. Oh my god, the pressure. It cannot handle. Oh, so we recap by battling, is it? Although sometimes battle can make things clearer, maybe it's better to recap the testimonies before you start. I guess so, it is not much. It's not really that in depth, I say, as I fail. <laughs> I fail the test. I've noted down all of the suspects' testimonies. Would you like to review any of them? Do I meet? What happens? Actors. Oh, they just repeat the thing, is it? No, 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 I don't want. Yeah, 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 was anyone able to make any useful deductions? I don't know. Okay, we done that. I've already heard enough. Let's use my brain. Hmm. Are your preparations complete? Your brain is ready? Is it smooth or is it wrinkly? It's very smooth. Shall we commence operation back the shot? I think. Let's begin. I don't wanna die here. <laughs> yeah, let's get him. Okie dokie. Sinotaf? The Hector? Or Ector? Or Therese? Let's bag the shot. <laughs> we have a staff member, Ector, the butler, and Therese. Two of them are working with the Phantom Thief. Don't attack them all at once. Not all have been proven guilty. Okay. Determine who we should take down. Uh, Master, Geho, Geho. <laughs> I haven't lied. You must believe me. <laughs> I'm just a bunny waitress. Have you got it? Now pick your target and attack. Defeat the two liars. Okay, let's start with the robot, I guess. The staff member is a robot. Do I just attack or... They die instantly. <laughs> you know what all movies say, it's always the butler. Oh no. Are you sure? I don't want a game over. I think it's the rest. It's so... But what if it's a trick, you know? You don't suspect him at all. But I, uh... Well, I think it's the rest. If I die here, who do I draw? I don't know. I try. Thanks, the girl. Yeah, I want it. I'll try. Pop. The two liars. <gasps> Win. Okay. <laughs> we didn't die. So that's good. <laughs> ding, ding. <gasps> you. Hell yeah. You showed that puzzle who's boss, Amara. Oh, I was scared. <laughs> you said she had a different voice from before. And how she did talk was different too. <gasps> yes! So it was a dude doing a girl voice. A chat noir. But how did you see through my impeccable disguise? What happened to the real Therese? <laughs> I could have seen through your trick blindfolded. Or did you forget who I am? 
この怪盗シャドワールを追い詰めたただ一人の男<笑>さすがだよ。ッテンブレイクリティテクティブ。Yeah. My brain I see, the only man who managed to finally corner me, the Phantom Thief, is you. Well done. I'm g o i n g kiss already. Oh my god. <laughs> This is where we usually explain the reasoning that led us to you, but. First, we take you into custody. This is it for you. We're gonna kick his ass. Never see how he looks like. Okay, next. We continue. Fire. Please let there be Summer Bellia. Yay! g o t t i l l them. Let's borrow our friend Summer Bellia. Summer Bellia, the Kashte Kureki. Origato. So, the. Oh, my, what do you think? Wait, I'm gonna kick. Tell me something. What did you come here for? It's just as I wrote in my letter. I came to get my treasure back. You've had your fun on my ship, rat. Now prepare to have the life whipped out of you. <laughs> hmm. Who ever heard of a phantom thief that dwelled on the troubles of others? What is it you want to take? I'll disappear once I finish my job here. Besides, there's nothing else I want. I thought you wanted the whole casino. そしてそれは君にとっても利益となるはずだクリスティーナ、hmm. And I'm sure you will reap the benefits クリスティーナ何だと What did you say? さてそれでは私はここで失礼するとしよう Why not? No <laughs> don't, We don't just stand there and watch him leave And with that I think I'll take my leave No capture him <laughs> Stop, I won't let you escape. Yeah, get out of that chair and move your ass, b u r r o w e r Casino staff? <gasps> Watch out! Hmm, ah, yes. Time to reveal who that casino staff member really is. A robot, or、oh, a machina soldier. <laughs> You sure have funny sounding voice though. You menacing soldier, you. You would have heard me if not for the Machina soldier activating at just the right moment. What? So, how do you get into this disguise? <laughs> I look so real. It's the oldest trick in the book, but you were quite sharp to notice it. You have sound intuition. Are you wearing fake skin? Is that it? You fake boobas? However, I guess it wasn't enough to sniff out what I had prepared. Then he talked aloud. Why, why don't we capture him while he talks? Normally, I eschew inelegant methods as it clashes with my creed. What the fuck does that mean? He, didn't, he did not say adieu. Unfortunately, I cannot afford to be caught. My pride as a thief is at stake. Adieu. You're not getting away. Yeah, capture him, b a y You just go up like that. He's what we get. 
would just look watching him while he talks away blah 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 blah. A valiant effort. It seems you really are my greatest rival after all, detective. Yeah, yeah, fight the Makina soldier. <laughs> what the <laughs> Is he just a kusul? Darn it, great apples of fire. Time to get serious. What does that mean, Bernie? Hiya. A machina. Ooh, level 25. Let's bring Summer Battle to Bless again. This time, to Bless this time. No more dissenting. Noise. Yeah, that's fine. I'll click on my own. Eh, eh. Click everything. Easy beat. Who is using the machina to fight for him? Yeah, coward. A cowardly bitch. <laughs> so while you're busy fighting him, Shai runs away. <gasps> How dare he. I have so many crew members. What are they doing while I'm busy fighting the robot? Hiya. Here's the proof. <laughs> Tante Ochan, detective old man. Is it old man detective? <laughs> that was bad. Are you heard Sherlock Holmes? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> the name. <laughs> it was easy peasy. Nobody got hurt. I'm fine. They got away. Hmm, we were so close. Mm, that was Phantom Thief Shad Noir? How terrifying. Terrifying. It's just a dude. Damn him. What has that fiend done to uh, with the real Therese and the others? Yeah, where is she? Laying a hand on my toes is unforgivable. Therese is definitely safe. Chat Noir wouldn't stoop to something that low. <laughs> I'm gonna go down and wait for them to come. Only 10 minutes left, so I'll be back in a tiffy. Okay. Yeah, get ready to receive the mail and greet the mailman. <laughs> Isn't that right, detective? Definitely, but right now, taking out these dangerous Makina soldiers is our top priority. Easy peasy. Yo, my leg is cold. My feet. Why has Chat Noir changed his methods so drastically? Earlier, he mentioned his pride. I thought he meant the pride of having never been caught, but... Maybe he just wants to protect the idea of who Phantom Thief Chat Noir is instead. Protect the idea of who? Hmm? Hmm. The idea by here is a pride. The pride of Phantom Thief. Phantom Thief Chat Noir defied his own principles just to escape. What exactly is he trying to protect? A smile cracked from side to side. Chapter 4 
You, you, but I'll bet it is. I'm a bet it is. Let's go. Unfortunately, Chat Noir always seems to be one step ahead of the crew. They pull themselves together and vow to pursue the Phantom Thief when a question is abruptly is abruptly voiced. Question? Why is the assistant figuring out more stuff than Sherlock Holmes? <laughs> what? Sarya is the true brains. Her brain is more wrinkly than Barawa. Come to think of it, I also feel like Sarya is solving most of this mystery. Who <laughs> can see that? Is it? <laughs> Hahaha, <laughs> they're calling you out, Barawa. What do you have to say for yourself? Go, <laughs> 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 you just sit there in a chair and do nothing. Oh, well, in a sense, it's part of my mentoring style. A kind of hands on training, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing her figure out a mystery of this magnitude all by herself, it kind of makes me feel like a proud parent. That's all nice and dandy, but should a case this big be left to the assistant? The Phantom Thief never used anything as dangerous as Machina soldiers before, right? Mm, I see. Hmm, you could say that, yes. And you said you've got that dastard right where you want him, didn't you? Didn't you? So go on, Sherlock Holmes. Take on this phantom thief guy and solve this mystery. Look at his fleet. Malik. Hmm. <laughs> You're really getting into this, Vern. Though I kind of want to see the famous detective catch the bad guy. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> Good point. I do too. Hmm, <laughs> you two see the world through such innocent eyes. Hmm, but our, oh boy, the children have high expectations of you. You can't escape from this one. But, can't escape from my burp. Hmm, this got me. <laughs> right then, I'll show you kids how to solve a mystery detective Barawa style. So first of all, you gather the evidence. Judging by the Phantom Thief's actions so far, he's bound to have left clues at the scene of the crime. You can bet on that. That's right. Just keep in mind there might also be red herrings in addition to really important evidence. 
何にせよ奴の痕跡を探して損はない行くぞ団長君 In any case, there's nothing to lose by checking. Let's go, Amara. Okay. Level 20, huh? Me? Lady. Bara no hana? A rose? Is this a flower? Wasn't this used to decorate the lounge? Why,、well, I don't see any roses behind there. Hmm, ayashi. Hmm, zos. Interesting. What would a flower from the lounge decorations be doing here so conspicuously? Sus. Very sus. I feel like a flower embodies the debonair charm and elegance that Chat Noir is so fond of. You do have a point. This is probably something the Phantom Thief would like. Good job, Vern. Let's hold on to this as evidence. Saria, keep note of all the evidence we discover in the investigation record. Today we're playing Ace Attorney. Hi, Sensei. On it. Wow, that was amazing, Vern! <laughs> a Vern's gotta do what a Vern's gotta do. <sighs> We keep discovering more and more suspicious things. Aside from the flower from earlier, we have found four other things so far. Well, random things. Going in order, we found okra and oatmeal in the bathroom. Who's eating in the bathroom? And. Oh. A lamb used to light the casino halls, and finally, a saw. They all seem to have been stolen from elsewhere on the ship. Maybe they're hiding a message from the Phantom Thief. None of this makes any sense. I have no idea what the Phantom Thief is trying to tell us. Hmm. There must be some way to decrypt this code. For example, maybe we could take. We could take the first letter of each item in the order we found them. Fool, oh my god. Again. 
F for flower, O okra, O oatmeal, lamb, L for lamb, and S for saw. Hey yo. <laughs> How dare he! <laughs> he got us again, detective. <laughs> what is he, tan? Is he a kid? That little, why does he waste my time? We're gonna kick his ass. Let's go, Vern. This time I'm going to yank him out of his hole by the tail. Right. The lazy way. He made us wooden robots. No, maybe we'll do two side story today. <laughs> maybe. We're doing two. Detective Barawa's uh, side story. We detected him. <laughs> what? We don't know what he say. Show your face, Chat Noir. Mm. Wow, Bara was really upset. How dare you make his Bara titties uh, upset? Oh, I need to reposition myself. I'd be mad too after doing all the detective work, only to make to be made a fool of. Honestly, this is more in line with Chat Noir's style than anything we've seen so far. Huh? What do you mean? You see, it's Chat Noir's modest operandi. He... Is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> M.O. He may use monster minions, but... Most of what he does is no different from a child getting into mischief, see? <laughs> We're just playing pranks on Barawa all this time, huh? Ah, who did this? Why did a blackboard eraser just bonk me on the head? Bonk. <laughs> Followed up by a blast of from a water gun. What again? Seriously. <laughs> now there are bugs falling from the ceiling. Sorry, I get them all, me. Sorry. <laughs> wow, you don't see that every day. Why he keeps falling into his trap then? They really do resemble <laughs> childish pranks. This time Chat Noir seems to be acting even more infantile than usual. That's why I find it a little hard to believe he sent out those Makina soldiers. You think the pride he talked about has got something to do with the change in his MO? 
そうですね明らかに冷静ではなかった You could be onto something. He wasn't calm or collected after being exposed. Exposed. Why did you stop all of a sudden,、uh, Detective? Is something wrong? <laughs> after the bugs falling on you, my spirit is broken. <laughs> What? Oi, oi, it's kind of early to be giving up already, Sherlock Holmes. Nope, I'm done. What are you talking about? This sort of nonsense is not worth my time. I'm leaving. I'm going home. What about Terry's and the others? What about Vass's gun? <laughs> Not bad enough. Oh, darn it. I moved the thing. Sorry for the noise. I should put something over there. A cloth. I need to put my phone on something so that it doesn't move. Okay. Your erratic outbursts aren't helping anybody. Please stop. Well, let's just get back to it after Sherlock Holmes take a chill pill. <laughs> I refuse. No means no. I've already made up my mind. <laughs> But you've never just given up before. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I think you can do this alone. Insight, intelligence, intuition, you've got it all. You're a much better detect detective than me in every way. <laughs> You just provide the bronze, then it's up to you now. <laughs> You're being ridiculous. <laughs> You're not allowed to give up. The detective I know would never do that. <laughs> Who's going to stand up to the Phantom Thief if you don't? <laughs> think about how the Phantom Thief feels. <laughs> I can think about how he feels. <laughs> He'll miss you. <laughs> how the Phantom Thief feels? <laughs> You're the only person who has managed to corner Chat Noir. But that was just dumb luck. I know that. I figure it out. Cornering Chat Noir was a fluke, and I know you're covering that up when you call yourself Great Detective. If I'm such a fraud, then why bother following me around? That's. That's not what we're talking about right now, at least as far as the Phantom Thief is concerned. Hmm, Saria, what exactly are you trying to say? <laughs> 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 
I'm like G's right G's by the Astros. Do I have to spell it out for you? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like a love letter or what? Haven't you noticed? The letters the Phantom Thief sends you and only you always have a slightly different perfume on them. Just for you. Oh my gosh. What? The per the perfume changes? <laughs> Your special detective, special to Chat Noir. Oh my god, kiss already. Chat Noir is in love with him. Even if you're a fraud who's only great in name, you cornered him once, then make Chat Noir your destined rival. <laughs> Impossible. There's no way he truly thinks of me that way. <laughs> Just take this message out of context. I know he does. Call it intuition. <laughs> so many things he does for Barawa. Think about it. He thinks up all these riddles just for you, and he meticulously prepares all these surprises. <laughs> Why do you think he sends you all those letters sprayed with perfume? The love letters. Oh my god. <laughs> she even said it. I know he's never written it, written it explicitly, but it's laced with feelings of endearment, just like a love letter. Oh lord. The ship. It's canon. How can you abandon the phantom thief after all the trouble he's gone through just for you? Oh my gosh. Sorry, I... <laughs> there he is. We were just talking about you sending him love letters, Chat Noir. With special perfumes. <laughs> you. The Twink. It's the Phantom Thief. Chat Noir. That's the guy? Correct. This is the first time I've revealed myself to you. Amara, Vern, Lyria, how do you know our names? What are you doing here, you dastard? Turning yourself in? <laughs> you wish. <laughs> Your assistant, the one you call Saria, had some interesting things to say back there. I can't let her continue filling your head with those ideas. Or else we cannot have fun. It is, it is true though that I hold you in special regard, detective. I need you to accept that we are indeed destined rivals. You came out of hiding just to say that? You came out of the closet? <laughs> well, there is one more thing that piqued my interest. 
団長 B ルリア君たちにね You three a m e r a Vern and Leia What of it you twink We're busy We're on our way to get b e l l i e r Us 君たちの活躍楽しませてもらっているよ。お礼をしなくちゃいけないな。いや、パスタ。いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、The moment of. <laughs> I want to thank you for your participation in my game. I've had a gleefully gay time. Adieu. <laughs> uh, not a smoke screen again. <laughs> And now I'm back. What a weather we have. Yeah. You're having? Why、oh, is it very cold there? Snowy? A, a snowstorm.、Um, over here we have a gay weather. <laughs> we had a gay time. Watch out, something's coming. A m a k i n a soldier again. <laughs> Blazing sky apples. There's another one. What part of this is childish mischief? It started to snow and now it's a snowstorm and 10 centimeters of it outside. Whoa, wowee. Now do look cold and snow. Get cozy up. It's evening for you now, right? It's the best time. To warm yourself up. Did you get your pedals then? Let's take care of this butt, Amara. Yay. Kick the butt's butt. b i n b i n is a boss pedal. Another Makina soldier. Let's just let it autoplay. Yes, I do live in Sweden. I'm a cold corgi. Oh, I got them.、Mm, nice. Opening them right now, is it? Play immediately. Test them out. See if got damage. Hmm. Next, from side to side. It's the last one. We've been billiard. Some more billiard. Have you had fun with your pedals? And you're racing. The desert. Making fools of us with a surprise attack. I got the impression that he came for another reason. Again, just a guess though. <sighs> hmm. The Makina soldier left something behind. Huh? What is it? Some kind of potion? It dropped lots of them. You know, something smells really nice. Ooh, food. Could it be perfume? So you live in Malaysia like Ellen and the others? Yeah. But I have the weirdest sleep schedule. So my time zone is whack. I don't follow Malaysian time zones. It's 2 a.m. right now. B. 
people should be sleeping and not me. The bottles were definitely left behind by the phantom tea. But that smell... <laughs> Is it the special one Chad Noir uses only for Sherlock Holmes in his love letters? <laughs> oh no, this is the standard perfume he uses normally. I see. So this is the phantom thief smell. Hmm, if you think about it. What is it? So you are a night owl. Yeah, I try to. But I usually accidentally screwed up and accidentally become a daytime person. <laughs> Cause my body is dumb, doesn't want to listen to me. Cause at night time, my internet is super fast. <laughs> and there's usually no... No problem. When I'm streaming at this time. When everyone's asleep and everyone is quiet. This is why I try my best to become a night owl, even though my body keeps trying to reset to become a daytime person. You and Shai do sound a lot like... do sound a lot alike, is it really? I don't know, I feel like I have a weird voice, but it's what I was born with. I should d learn to deal with it. It's how I deal with it, with these streams. I've come to terms with my voice <laughs> in a good way. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, I like Shai's voice. <laughs> okay, he keeps in intentionally leaving evidence here and there. Was there any evidence left behind when your gun was stolen, Bus? Yes. Perhaps a letter like the ones we found before? No, I didn't see one. Hmm, not it? Naruhodo. I see. The only time they translated that correctly. I hadn't thought of looking for a letter. Good catch! Ara! <laughs> oh my god, thank you for the sub. Thunderlord underscore yamp for sub for support. Two hearts. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I hope you have a nice. Your nice. What? And. Uh, nice time playing your racing sim game. While you're chilling out. Thank you for the sub. Help me bless. Ding. Give blessing to you. Usually play my what? What's the word? Steel drum. But it's far away. I don't want to get up. <laughs> Good catch. I do like to support kind people. Ah, thank you. You're very kind yourself. The calling card from before. Did it say anything about the gun? That about the gun. Oh uh, yeah, right now we're searching for um that that very rotund dude. <laughs> uh, called Vas. His gun was stolen by someone, probably Chat Noir, but we don't really know that. We're looking for his fancy gun. That's what we're doing right now. We wouldn't have missed that. I just can't believe the Phantom Thief would have stolen the gun without so much as a peep. Hmm, he ought to have left Vass some sort of message. 
Maybe he left something in the vest's suite. But when I left, there was nothing in there. It might have been easy to overlook. Are you definitely sure there was nothing? Ooh, how about we stop asking questions? <laughs> Mr. Moneybag, and just go look in Mr. Moneybag's room. Great idea. Maybe if we sweep his room, we might learn something new. I'm sorry to ask this of you, Vas, but could you please take us to your room? Okay. Why am I saying okay, I'm not Vas? If he did break in, he would have left something behind to mock us. To make fun of us. Okay, mister, if that's how it's going to be, then I'll play your fool. Go into a room, a generic room. The pretty flower in a vase there. The crew steps into Vasa's suite to investigate, keeping a watchful eye out for any traces left by the phantom teeth. Nothing here in particular stands out to me as a message from the phantom teeth. Incidentally, Vas, do you always lug that gun of yours around with you? No, I normally keep it in this box. Where the box? Vas opens the gun case as he speaks. Oh, isn't that a gun right there? But why is it inside the case? This is unexpected. A phantom thief who returns stolen goods. Goods. Unexpected is right. I've never seen that gun case before. You again. Hmm. We've got another Mc Mc McDoot. McDoot up in here. Almost said McD. We only want McD, not a McDoot. Just when things were looking up. Yes. These Makina soldiers keep conveniently appearing whenever we find something useful. Hey! We'll deal with these guys faster than I can eat an apple. Hey, sir. Really? So fast? Oh, two of them. Okay, two of them. Click the bull. You're so lazy to click on it. Story entry has been added to the journal. Okay, after we do this side story, we'll read the journal. The new edition, at least. Is exclamation mark? Yikes, it's getting back up. Mamon, oh, the Lady Luck Primal Beast. What is she riding on anyway? Vern, look! 
A primal beast. No! What? It's back again? Mamon emerges from a dazzling light and towards the attacking Machina soldier. The crew remain vigilant as they watch Mamon advance toward the Machina soldier. Her booty is out. She gently brushes the Machina soldier with her fingertips. The machine disintegrates into countless gold coins, which are then sucked into Mamon. What? How she suck it? <laughs> what just happened? It disappeared with the Machina soldier just like last time. Is that primal beast after Machina soldiers? It didn't seem like it to me. They do call her the Demon of Desire. Do you think she's after Vas's gun? Hmm. In any case, let's keep the gun locked away securely. Also, they really have the gun. I thought. The gun is like a copy. We found it. We didn't do anything. We wouldn't want to damage it. Thus, about the traces of the phantom teeth. Hmm? Oh yeah? Huh? Where'd he go? Now that you mention it, I didn't notice he'd been missing. Did he get kidnapped by Shad Noir while we were busy fighting the Machina soldier? Bacana! <laughs> Bacana! Impossible! Blast my horns! <laughs> I can't catch a break! It might have been the imposter phantom teeth. <laughs> wow, that's the one time they got it right. Damn it. The strange things happening left, right, and center. Vas's gun has been returned to his suite, but in exchange, Vas has vanished. A rotten man. Where could he have gone? And what is the phantom teeth after? We don't know. And, but we know that every side story has six chapters. Ah, we have. We unlock chapter five. So, you have chapter six and then the ending. Wine will tell. Wait, I wanna check. I have to check the desync. Down, up, down, up. Okay. So far, it's fine. One hour and thirty minutes in. Ah, yeah. Maybe it really is. Um, because of the internet during daytime. The last stream I started streaming at six a.m. and it started being wonky. Ah, yeah. No summer belly, all. He is so rare. So we bring normal Belio. Is the internet shared with others? Yeah, my family. So at night they're asleep. So me the only one with the with lots of internet. Okay, we bring the person's periodic. Okay. I see, maybe they download or watch Netflix and such. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, the, we usually use the internet for YouTube stuff, but I don't know what they see. Vas's gun, supposedly stolen by Chat Noir, is back in rightful hands. We didn't do anything <laughs> to get that. He just appeared. Uh, in his case. Okay. Ironically, 
Vas has disappeared. Oh well, let's move on. <laughs> I don't think he's in this room. Doesn't seem like it. Damn it, Vas. Hey, hey, I found a note thingy in the corner of the room. <laughs> Let me see that. Wah, that smell. I thought I smelled something weird. Must have been coming from that. There's a whole bucket of perfume on this. I think my nose is going to fall off. Why is it drenched in? Oh, I see. There's so much perfume spilled on this that I can't make out what it says. Do you think the Phantom Thief panicked? I've never seen a note left behind like this before. Hmm, probably not. Earlier on, like in the first few chapters, they were talking about a possible imposter for Phantom Thief. Maybe there's an imposter, Phantom Thief. Most likely, this is a first in terms of sloppiness for the Phantom Thief. Hmm, what is going on with him? Anyway, let's go and look for Vas. What could have happened to my old friend? Detective, do you know when he went missing? No idea. When I turned around, he was already gone. Then it's going to be quite difficult for us to narrow our search. I have a feeling this will be an uphill battle. Now nah, I'm gonna be easy peasy. My last words. <laughs> Famous last words from Emerald. Easy peasy and then I die. Hey you, have you seen Vast? Who are we talking to? Hmm. Hmm. Lord Vass? I saw him just a while ago. And where was that? Ah, near the hall. Lord Vass was in a hurry and crashed into me. Oh dang. I was carrying some soup and I spilled it all over him. I felt terrible. What soup? Chicken soup? Mm. The soup stained his clothes, so I offered to have them washed for him, but... Whatever he was doing must have been extremely important because he didn't even listen and just ran off. Did you notice anything else? No, that's it. Though there's a chance I may have overlooked something. I see. Thank you very much. Hmm, I wonder where Vas was going in such a hurry. He couldn't have gotten far. Let's search inside the casino first. I owe him big. If anything has happened to him, there will be hell to pay. Let's go. Okay.
da 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 <laughs> I should have just clicked on that from the beginning. So we don't need to waste time. <laughs> just use Nessa. Why didn't you guys tell me? <laughs> okay. No more, right? Because I used all. Yeah, we just bring normal bed at it. I don't have normal Belial or summer Belial still. <laughs> it seems there were others who've seen Vass. Let's get their testimonies, then maybe we can trace his footsteps. <laughs> yare yare, Mr. Moneybags, where have you gone? <laughs> this time you don't have that robotic voice? Lord Bass? Yes, I spoke to him. We were in the employee lounge. Hmm. His attire was dirty and he appeared to be looking for a change of clothes. He said he couldn't go back to his, to his room, so I went and found him some clothing similar to what he was wearing. At his size, too? What a coincidence. Very convenient. He got changed, threw his old clothes on the floor and left. His old clothes? I don't remember much about them, apart from the big wine stain. Hmm, a contradiction over there. I thought it was soup. Chicken soup. If you don't get wine out fast, it will stain permanently. That's why I passed the clothes on for cleaning. Yeah. Oh, any food stains for that matter. Vasa's wallet and room key were in a pocket. I was hoping to get them back to him soon. I see. That is valuable information. Thank you very much. Vass seems to be quite, be in quite a hurry. He's left clues for us to get to him everywhere. If we follow this trail, we'll find Vass. Exactly. No time for chit chat. Let's move. We chit chat all the time here. We never explore in this game. And yeah, we're overpowered. Yeah. Next, huh? MVP. MVP. He makes sure I don't die. Fire! Right? Ooh! <laughs> this is a bad yard. Let's borrow a splint bad yard. Dang girl! Are you looking for a lot bass? So am I! <laughs> I don't need to use that voice. <laughs> no way! <laughs> She's so close to burn! Whoa! It's called personal space! Get back! <laughs> Why are you looking for a vest? Well, I was preparing to clean up the mess made by those <laughs> made by my burp by those rampaging monsters. 
I put my bucket down in the hallway, but then Lord Vast charged through and tripped over it. <laughs> what a sentence. He had himself a little shower. He was just soaked. I did sure he's careless. I tried to apologize, but he wasn't having it. He just ran off to wherever. Where did this collision with the bucket occur? Hmm, near the storeroom where the cleaning supplies are kept. I see. Did you happen to notice anything else strange? Now that you mention it, I did actually. He had blood on his shirt. Ayo. What? Was Vast injured? Actually, you know, you know, that red stain might not have been blood. Maybe it was wine. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Lord Vass, he came through here in a hurry. You saw him with your own eyes? Yes, I was offering drinks to the guests in the lounge. Not sure if I pronounced it right. <laughs> Lord Vast turned up out of breath and sweating like a waterfall. You said some more things, and they didn't translate, and I don't know what he said. I offered him a glass of wine. But in his haste, he fumbled with the glass, and his crisp white shirt ended up dyed crimson. And yeah, all over the place. The timeline. He was furious, absolutely shouting at the top of his lungs. Of course, the wine stain. Hmm, we've got a lot of info about him tripping over, crashing into people. You know, I'm starting to sense a theme here. Team here. Is he always this careless? Soup, wine, and a bucket of water. That seems really out of it. I wonder what's up with him. Don't know. Indeed, something is off. The more I hear, the more worried I'm becoming. I think we've managed to determine everywhere Vath has been and everything he's done, don't you? Are we going to solve like, a mystery at the end? Now that our investigation is over, let's organize the information we've collected. Oh no, I, I really don't want to die because of my dumbassery. <laughs> yeah, we're moving on to the next stage. Because what do I draw if I die here? <laughs> it's part of my challenge. A no death challenge. Da -da 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 -da.
If I lose the challenge, I have to draw um, the enemy that destroyed me. <laughs> Any more? No? It looks like we oh my god, I need to check the sink again. <laughs> I don't think it's it's okay. Okay. Just in case. It looks like we've gathered all the information that's available. Oh, I, I think it's in here. I think you're right. Okay, let's summarize the information we've obtained from the witnesses. Still smooth sailing. If we do that, Vasa's whereabouts will become clear to us. No. I've summarized all the witness testimonies relating to the disappearance of Vas. Vas repeatedly had his clothes dirty, causing him to change them. He left a trail of clues as he headed somewhere. So if we, if we put the events in order, it should point us to where he is. I think I forgot the first testimony. Correct, Vern. Saria, read the memos you made from the testimonies aloud. Got it. In the order we heard them, the testimonies are... Vas got soup all over him near the main hall. At the time, nothing special stood out to the witness. Vas got changed in the employee break room. The witness noticed that the old clothes had a wine stain on them. Vas tripped over a bucket of water near the storeroom and got soaked. The witness saw a wine stain on his clothes. The witness in the lounge couldn't remember what state Vas's clothes were in when the wine got spilled on him. In the lounge couldn't remember what state, okay? It seems Vas went to quite a few places. He sweeped the lounge, the main hall, the employee break room, and the storeroom. But his room key was in the pocket of the clothes he took off, so it's likely he wouldn't have been able to get into his suite. Unfortunately, we're out of witnesses we can we can question. Vas must be either in the lounge, the main hall, the break room, or the storeroom. Or, wait, I forgot it was the last testimony. We'll use these witness testimonies to find his last known whereabouts. Yes. 
I agree. Also, Vas probably went to each of these places only once. Vas, no, no, no. Only if Bus is good at hiding, he could have visited one place twice. Why is he hiding from us in the first place? What the hell? Why are we spending our time on this? Oh my gosh. We don't have any more witnesses to corroborate, so let's just go with what Saria said. I don't feel confident though. Same. We don't know. Where did he go first? The main hall? The break room? The store room? The lounge? What do you think, Amira? I think oh, it was the mo the lounge, I think. Hey, wait. What's your first testimony yet? Mm, I look better at the top right. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> if you want to see a test money summaries again, then along with it, the rising. This? We are. Um, um, uh, in the launch now. I'm gonna have wine sting, I guess. Main hall, it got soup. But when he go to the break room, it got wine stain. Where did he get the wine stain? The witness in the lounge couldn't remember what state. Couldn't remember when we're eating, when the wine got spilled on it. Quiet group. That's it, right? One, two, three. The lounge one is so couldn't remember if Hmm. Is it the soup first? Right, nothing special stood out to the witness. When you got the water, you got wine stained. I think it's the main hall. The main hall? No, don't ask my dumb ass self, please. I see, you think he went to the hall first. Well, according to the witness testimony, the soup she spilled on Vas was dark in color. What kind of soup was it? If he had gone there first, the soup stain would have been mentioned in subsequent testimony. Oh, darn it. They didn't tell me what color the soup was. But at least it's not during a battle, so it's fine if I got it wrong. It just shows that how dumb I am. Just like the wine stain mentioned by other witnesses. <laughs> Whatever, Vern. Hmm, I think he must have gone somewhere else first. Try to hear about it again, Amara. Whatever, Vern. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, so he go to, um... How will the, the, the launch? I don't know. Here, you do this. Yes, the wine stain was mentioned by multiple witnesses. At the fact there wasn't any unusual eh, there wasn't anything unusual that stood out about Vas's clothes according to the witness. And that must mean that Vaz had yet to visit any other places. Hmm. 
Yeah, if Bass's clothes were soaked with water or something like that, the witness in the lounge would have totally remembered. Exactly, so where did he go next? Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, he went to... He got the wine, and then he... He... He got this. Yes, 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 yes. Darn it. Sorry. <laughs> I think that one is the last one. He got wine clothes. So maybe to the storeroom first? Yeah, so um <laughs> I definitely couldn't solve this when I was sleepy last stream. <laughs> yes, when Vas knocked over the bucket of water, he had a wine stain on his shirt. <laughs> If we compare the other testimonies, then this must be right. To the lounge. Where did he go next? To the, I mean, to the break room. <laughs> I'm tired. Mood. That makes sense. Vas's clothes were dirty and he, so he must have gone there to, next to change them. After changing in the break room, the last place him he went must have been the main hall where the soup was spilled on him. It's one thing after another. Vash sure was in a big hurry, wasn't he? Why? Why though? Why is he running away from us? Him very sus. Yeah, it's hard to imagine what caused him to act that way. The whereabouts of Vas are now clear. He's hiding somewhere in the main hall. Let's go look for him. Yes, let's. I don't know what's got him so flustered, but, he, but we have to find him before he disappears again. Are there monsters still roaming on three ways this time? Oh, oh la la. Oh la la. We do not yet that. We do that. Yes, we'll save it. Now, just use this first. まだまだこれからだ。ん。ん。ん。ん。ん。ん。ん。ん。ん。ん。ん。ん。ん。ん。ん。ん。ん。ん。ん。ん。ん。ん。ん。ん。ん。ん。ん。ん。ん。ん。
Farias Casebook. The crew closes in on the main hall where Vas is hiding. <gasps> that sounded like a gunshot. Over there, over yonder. The crew can feel something sinister emanating from the source of the gunshot as they rush to the scene. Barawa, everyone, something terrible has happened. Thus, I was wondering where in the world you'd gone off to. Forget it, I simply remembered something I had to do, but now it doesn't seem to matter anymore. <gasps> oh my god, Hector! He did! And there's the gun! What a fancy gun! Kinda looks tacky now that I've seen it, fool. So. <gasps> That's all beauty! See a dead person! The crew sees the figure of Ether. The butler lying on the ground, covered in blood. Someone used heal on him. What? Suicide in retrospect? It's the last chapter. Nani the Hong. The crew races to find the missing vest, and I hope the audio isn't crackling anymore. Stop it! I hear the crackling. Stop it! <laughs> However, when they find him, they also see something unexpected. Ettor, the butler, lies collapsed in a pool of blood with Vas's bejeweled gun in his hand. The shotgun. For a brief while, the crew just stands there, unmoving, stunned in silence. Oh, beardy, who did this? <sighs> he's still breathing. Oh, he's not dead. Okie dokes. His injuries don't seem life threatening. Oh, okay. <laughs> And we're just looking? Hmm, there's blood around the gun's muzzle and char and charring around the wound. What? From these two facts, we can determine that the gun was pressed against his forehead when the trigger was pulled. What? Against his forehead? How can he live from that? What the hell? <laughs> what kind of logic is that? But fortunately, the bullet ricocheted off his skull, so the wound is shallow from a point blank shot against his head. <laughs> what the hell? What kind of grand blue logic is this? Ridiculous. How strong is his skull? Where is it? Maybe he replaced his skull with a steel one, is it? He seems to have lost consciousness, but I think he'll recover quickly. <laughs> We're just smiling at the fact that a man survived a point blank shot to the head. <laughs> Oi, 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 what? The bullet ricochet. I don't know how to pronounce it. Ricochet it. Ricochet it. Please. Ricochet off his skull. How can that even happen? Can that even happen? Can that even happen? It depends on the situation, but on rare occasions, you know, a miracle, I guess. The bullet can collide with the bone and not penetrate the skull. Oh hell, the heck. What the hell? 
When I was in the military, I saw a similar scene. So, <laughs> Someone must have a thick skull. How oh, very thick. Fortunately for him, I see. So he won't die. Thank goodness. Who the hell pressed the gun against his forehead? You? Was it you, Vas? They call him Hector, but the translation they changed the name to Hector. <laughs> ah no, Hector, Vas. Since you found Hector, <laughs> yeah, I get confused with the name. Since you find Hector, can you tell us what happened? <laughs> What the heck? Am I hearing fireworks? Are they tasting fireworks at 3 a.m.? I know Chinese New Year is coming, but what the heck? Okay, I know this is going to be difficult for you to explain, but we need to know what happened. I understand. Take a look at this note. This is what actor's last words. Last words. I found it in my room earlier when we were looking for my gun. I rushed away as fast as I could to look for him, but I didn't reach him in time. Hmm. I think um, it's... He was framed, I think. It's a fake suicide note, I think. Hmm, meeting Vasis Sus. When I found him, he already had a gun pointed at, at his forehead, and then he... No way. Hector, why? What does this note say? Hmm. I am the copycat phantom thief. What? I was surprised. That's the only thing he said. You see, very, very close. You know, must be fake. Uh. The rest of the note reads, As turmoil spreads, I have become aware of the magnitude of my mistakes. They really are testing fireworks. I have decided to take responsibility for what I have done and end my own life. Damn it, Hector. You don't need to die to take responsibility. His injuries are really only very minor. He's very fortunate. Or maybe the gun is very weak ass. Weak ass gun. It doesn't function well. It's just bejeweled to hell. Detective, let's get Hector to the infirmary. Infirmary. Yes, we can hear his story when he wakes up. I will leave that uh, leave all of that in your capable hands. I'm going to return to my suite. Seeing Hector injured like that, it's hard for me. <laughs> I'll break. No, don't forget to take a break, everyone. Xavier reminds everyone. Yeah, I'll take a break after I finish this side story. Take a break, drink water, move my body, kiss my pussy cat, go pee. And then we'll start another side story. Can you start it? No! 
Why are you force me to take a break right now? <laughs> I'll how cool you, Xavier? But how are you, Xavier? It's 3 a.m. Are you the one testing fireworks right now? Hey, y'all. But we stay in the middle of this. Okay, after we finish chapter 6, and then I'll go take a break. Now, you, are you sure? It's 3 a.m. I hear people testing fireworks, but far away, though. At least not right outside my house. <laughs> Can't imagine. I'll take a break after I finish this chapter at least. Instead of finish the entire side story. Hey young, I can't imagine. Leave this to us. You go and rest. Oh. <laughs> Even Vern tells us to rest. <laughs> hey y'all, yeah, go follow Xavier. <laughs> Hello hand. Oh go follow hand too, I do. Go follow Han, go follow Xavier. Wait, is it? Oh, you cannot. I'm tap so slow. Did it? Ah, here. Eh, no, no, Xavier. Oh my gosh. So dummy. So dummy today. I'm in Han. <laughs> yeah. If you wanna see Final Fantasy X playthrough, go follow Xavier. Wanna see playing a uh, hand playing Red Dead? Did you finish Red Dead today? That your title said you're going to finish it, but I'm not sure if you really finished it today. Hope you guys are doing fine. <laughs> yeah, Vern tells us to rest. You go and rest. I'll rest later. <laughs> Hmm. Thank you. When my nerves have settled a little, I'll join you in the infirmary. We're, we're doing detective work right now. We're, we're using our smooth brain to solve mysteries. <laughs> Will Vass be okay? Hmm. <laughs> Not at all close to finish it. I only just finished chapter 3. Oh wow. How many chapters are there in Red Dead Redemption? Me don't know. Okay, when I was in the military, I learned that sometimes people just want to be alone. Well, it's not something that happens in the military too. <laughs> I'll check. Okay. Time heals wounds of the heart better than anything. Detective. Anyway, let's concentrate on getting Hector to the infirmary. Yeah, we're still dilly dally, talking, talking, while a man is like almost dying, I guess. Right, let's go, Amira. He survives being shot in the head. Now what the heck? Grand Blue Logic. Only one wave, right? One shot them. Good. Go on this house. You do not let this, the crackling. No, no, no. <gasps> oh my god. We can take a rest right now, huh? Hmm. Okay, fine. I'll take your stinking rest. The break time right now. I'll put on like a more chill um song. This darn it. Wait for it not to Yeah, enjoy this song. Six main story chapters and two epilogue chapters. Oh la la. Six. Six. Oh, it's just like the side story. I need to go through six chapters and then we're done. What's with the number six, huh? Why is it such a good number to make stories? Alright. 
as per Xavier's request. We take a break right now. Have you guys had a nice break too? We don't know why my character isn't there in there. Oh well. Yeah, I'm going to go. Gonna lose my leg. Gonna drink water. Gonna kiss Timmy. Timmy is in my room. My kitty cat. No, I forgot to do this, you know. Just in case anyone wants to do a thing. Boy. Oh yeah, thank you for coming to my reading stream. To the reading stream. Yeah, God. 
Aw, <laughs> oh, thank you, Amber, for the gift up to him. Me, Dandy, me, Stretch. To kiss the pussy cat. Pounce again. Yeah, but... We do hope everyone has a nice chill time in whatever they're doing. Go back. Where is it? Pity Barawa. We continue. We want to get away from the crackling audio. <laughs> Need to find this no burial here. We borrow fern boobs. <laughs> fern boobs burial. <laughs> the name never ceases to <laughs> make me laugh. Ah, uh, Okay. We continue. Why has the long faithful Hector caused such chaos? How does the emote bingo mode uh, work? Uh, I don't. You just spam all the emotes, right? I did say it all, right? Just, just choose any emote and maybe it will work. <laughs> if you guess right, spam all of the emotes that I have in my channel. The BTTV. The... Twitch global emote too, I think. But definitely spam all the, the BTTV ones first. <laughs> you don't need to spend points on it. But in my channel, it will just spam emotes all day, all night, and I won't care. <laughs> I think it'll be hard. Like out of how many emotes? It says 417 emotes. I don't think. Maybe next time I'll just put like bingo BTTV. Maybe I can make it right now. Is it? Kinda don't know. BTTV only. Where everyone can use. <laughs> can I cancel it? Bingo cancel? Oh, you had to guess what's that. Oh, I see. <laughs> Stop. Top spammers. Okay, I'll... Choose only BTTV. Well, you can... 101 only. I remember I... When I put bingo Twitch. Like, just like 400, I think. You don't know. <laughs> Good luck. Okay. While the crew carry the butler to the infirmary, they discuss this question with mournful faces. The crew concludes that Hector must have committed a crime after Mammon swayed his mind. And stream elements, you can do the that emote pyramid thingy for fun. I got stream labs and stream elements working. The crew concludes that Hector must have committed the crime after Mammon swayed his mind. After Mammon swayed his mind? Oh, okay. Sorry, you still know. Masako, you said I told you that you said to do it. I know, BTTV, carry on. Ah. Uh... I know that Twitch Mobile, the base mobile, don't have BTTV. I use mobile too, but a special one. A special one from GitHub. It's the BTTV app for Twitch streams. This is how I'm able to use BTTV in everyone's stream. Okay. Even so, to think the imposter Phantom Thief would try to end his own life. 
そうですね Is it really? なんだかすっきりしない終わり方です Yes, something about that doesn't feel right だがヘクターには驚いたよ青少女に支配されながらも自らの信念を貫くとは But Hector surprised me, even while being controlled by Mammon. He still stuck to his beliefs. So, so he's really by a primal beast. And he really is the phantom copycat. Or is this all fake? I don't know about that. Oh, Lyria, yeah. you got a different idea of what happened? Oh, hmm, that's not what I meant. Um, it's just this strange, strange feeling I can't put into words. I think you mean, oh, what do you mean, is it? Could you try? I just don't believe that Hector tried to take his own life while under the influence of the primal beast Mammon. Hmm. What do you mean? Can you be a little more specific? Yeah, Mammon's ability is to make desire stronger, right? I got that feeling from her earlier. I got that feeling. And it made me think. How could someone have their desires amplified? But still try to end their own life. So you don't think Hector overcame Mammon through the power of his will? Yapari Hen, it's strange. Well, it just doesn't make sense. It's all strange. I don't think the power of a primal beast can be resisted through willpower. I'm not gay though, just need to get that out of the day mode, okay? <laughs> Unless they're super strong, I guess. But then they should have been able to just defeat Mammon. But don't you remember what Christina said? In the shadow of the blood that is spilled in the pursuit of desire stands Mammon. Shadow of blood that is spilled in the pursuit of desire. Yes, but for somebody in actor's situation to point a gun at themselves and fire doesn't add up. <laughs> Demo was not in the showcase BTTV? What do you mean? Me don't know. So what you're saying is, it's more logical that someone fight. <laughs> Hello, Rixa. Thank you so much. Rixa ya sub for support. Two hearts. Do <laughs> I? Ah, thank you so much. How you been? How are you doing well? How you're having a gay time? <laughs> what? They did. Did the song really end? What you're saying is smaller than someone else fired the song. Oh. Okay. Hey, Jesse, for sure. Yee. Hi, Obin. I've been gay. I mean, I've been fine. 
just trying to get the side story finished so I can do art again. Yeah, hope you're well too. Detective, this is not the time to be going to the infirmary. What? Oh, I see. Hmm. We've made a terrible mistake. This is what Shad Noir was trying to tell us all along. So vast is sus. He really has a roundabout way of doing things. You there. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh my god, he's still lying there? You've been talking all this time. And I even took a break. You've been lying there almost dead. <laughs> Take Hector to the infirmary for us. He has a gunshot wound, but it's only a minor injury. Weirdly enough. Hey, where are you two running off to? Vibrating. This is terrible. We were completely and utterly deceived. <laughs> he didn't say blast my horn, he said, ah, oh, honey. We've got to move. This was all a trick burn set up by the real copycat. Phantom Thief, real copycat. Vas. Vas is suits. But easy peasy though. Nessa MVP. We don't die. We don't die. <laughs> How can a gunshot wound would be a minor injury? Plus, it's um point blank to the head. The bullet somehow ricochets from the skull and he survived. They never explain that. They say that it happens sometimes. A trick by the real copycat phantom teeth? Can somebody explain what's going on? Hector isn't a copycat? Yeah. <laughs> he must be tired uh, lugging that chair around. I'll explain in detail later. <laughs> Video game logic at its finest. Yes. If we don't hurry now, it'll be too late. <laughs> Wait up, you're running too fast. But you're only floating, Vern. Doesn't take much for you to fly. We can't let the fake Phantom Thief get away. Exactly. Stop bringing your chair everywhere, Barawa. It's making you tired. Barawa, old boy, what's the matter? We need to have a little chat. Has something happened to Hector? Yes, Vas, something has indeed happened to Hector. There's no doubt about it. Or not. No, I understand what you meant by it's not in the showcase BTTV. Oh, maybe it's in the global BTTV then. If it's not in my chosen um, selected emotes BTTV. If you use all of them, it's probably in the global BTTV. <laughs> Has his condition worsened? This is how my brain works. Very delayed. 
very delayed thinking. No, he. We have determined he is not the copycat phantom thief. <laughs> what then? Who in tarnation is it? What the hell? Have you been talking in southern twang all this time? Who oh, in tarnation? That would be you, Vas. <laughs> the man who threatened the jewel resort under the guise of the Phantom Thief was you all along. <laughs> hey now, don't joke around. Hector is the criminal. He confessed. <laughs> I don't think he did. He passed out after all. Indeed, he was the victim of treachery, a betrayal by you, Vas. We don't even have evidence, to be honest. Just based on our speculation. Don't be ridiculous. He shot himself. Oh, is this our evidence? He wouldn't do that. No, more like he couldn't. What? Well, why not? Even if Hector was under the influence of the primal beast Mammon, there is no way he could have done that to himself. He tells us the evidence, even I don't know. There's a very detailed illustration of the sketch. This is a sketch of the crime scene. There's something not quite right here that will shed light on the mystery. So they don't really have cameras here in the Grand Blue Fantasy universe. Except that one time I saw in the comic. Noni, what? Do you know what's not right about this picture, Amara? Ah, no, I have to solve it. What's wrong? What's not right about this picture? Uh, uh, there's no blood. What? The face, clothes, hand, feet? What the hell? I don't know. The face? <laughs> oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> He has no face. They didn't draw. This is what it means. Hmm? I can't see anything odd about his face. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I got it wrong there. Me neither. <laughs> so he, he addresses the NPC face, right? He's got one of those faces you seem to see everywhere you go, if anything. The NPC face. Being mistaken for somebody else all year round must be incredibly irksome. He said it as much. <laughs> yeah, we broke. This is neither the time nor the place to talk about that. Sorry. <laughs> there was your first mistake asking me. The dumbest captain around. Like a bit closer, Amara. <sighs> because I cannot even see his feet. The clothes? Hmm. His hands? <laughs> don't know. I don't know. How about I just pick all of them? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess that's wrong too. But at least we get to see all the dialogue. <laughs> Me dummy, dumbass. Hmm, speaking of clothing, I suppose he doesn't like his uniform much. But he said he wouldn't feel right if I gave him clothes that were too nice. I thought he was the type to be into trendy clothing, but maybe that wasn't the case. <laughs> but yeah, a man is dying right in front of them, and we're just 
Hey, yes. Chit chatting. I see. No wonder I thought he looked uncomfortable in them. <laughs> Got it wrong again. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh. Why do you keep asking me this question if you know I have smooth brain? My brain is not wrinkly. Moving on. This is neither the time nor the place to discuss. <laughs> Back a bit closer, Mara. I don't know. I can't even see his feet. The hands then. There's something about his hands. They're simply the hands that have always reliably looked after my personal effects. Ah, so the answer is hands. I don't really know. You can't see it, Vas. Such a damn ass. You had us all fooled. If it hadn't been for something Lyria say, said, we may have never noticed. <laughs> Emerald artistic observations are failing her, what? We have zero brain cell, or at least one. And that only one brain cell is shared between all of my eight cats. And you have gotten, and if you had gotten away while we were figuring the mystery out, we would have never been able to catch you. This is why I will never be able to solve puzzles in games. I still don't understand why you suspect me. Oh yeah, I guess so, with a shotgun. If you think about it rationally, it's impossible for anybody to shoot themselves in the head with this. Wait, let me try it. I don't know, I don't have a shotgun. <laughs> what? Oh, I see. Yeah, it's way too long, I guess. I can't. This is what I get for not paying attention to proportions. This gun of yours is longer than his arm. If he held it against his forehead, there's no way he could have reached the trigger. <laughs> Such a dummy. Dummy, dummy, dummy. Dummy. Well, they said his hands, not his arm in the option. Maybe I could have figured it out. <laughs> no, er, uh, he er, uh, put it in his hand after shooting himself. Things <laughs> for the hugs. But when we found Hector, he was out cold. Even if he had convulsed terribly after the incident due to shock, there's no way he could have got there. Don't <laughs> If you try and make an unconscious person's hand hold a gun naturally, it will always look unnatural. So it seems somebody else placed a gun in Hector's hand to try and make us think he had shot himself. In other words, this may have looked like a suicide, but it is in fact a case of attempted murder. Let's kick his ass, that's all I'm good for. I'm... <laughs> I'm not good at thinking, I'm good at kicking but as long as the boss is not that strong. <laughs> it is clear from the appearance of Hector's head wound and the gun's muzzle that he was shot from close range. Hector's 
バッチリこびりついていましたからね And that's because of the scorch mark on Hector's face and also the way the blood has perfectly clotted on the gun's muzzle. See point blank on the head. However, if he had shot himself in the head, that would have been impossible, as I said earlier. The evidence and your testimony clearly contradict one another. But, booty. I didn't want to believe it. But you're the one who shot Hector, Vass. There are also a few other strange things about this case, and we need to wrap it all up in this final chapter. <laughs> For example, the letter we found while searching Vas's suite before. There were there was so much perfume sprayed on it that the writing had been smudged. So much so we couldn't even tell what was written on it. To someone unfamiliar with the Phantom Thief's letters, it may have looked like a true calling card from the Chat, from Chat Noir himself. That But it was the smudging of the ink that drew attention to something about the letter. Attention to something about the letter. Can you guess what that is? Don't ask me. Don't ask me. Darn it. Mmm. I don't know. You were smudging of the ink that drew attention to something about the letter. Where the, the intended destination of the note? Mm. I think this? The intended destination of the note. Final answer. I cannot click on it. Okay. The intended destination? Where were you going to send this note, Vas? <laughs> At least he didn't admit it. Why are you asking me? I said I wasn't the copycat for the F. Phantom Thief? It's hard to say those names. <laughs> ah, I guess my little attempt to get you to admit your guilt didn't work. I thought it was quite clever actually. Oh darn it, I was wrong then. <laughs> Gosh dang it, stop making me ass. I don't know. Making of the ink? Is it where the ink was made? The material the note was made. When the note was written, smoothing. The ink? The specific origin of the ink. Now that is difficult to pinpoint. Maybe Chat Noir has a special ink he uses? The composition of the ink is likely to be different depending on where it was made. Dang, it must be wrong. I heard that when you burn the ink, those different components make the flames change colors. Oh, darling. <laughs> Clever. So let's try burning the notes. <laughs> no, this is an important piece of evidence. Amra got it wrong. <laughs> Third time's the charm, I guess. When the note was written, is it? Gosh, dang it. Just showing how dumb I am. <laughs> and then we're going to do another detective side story. It shows 
more dumbness, okay, judging from the extent to which the ink has blood. It is highly likely the perfume was applied to this letter before the ink was completely dry, okay? When we found this, it had been drenched in perfume. Hmm, something caused the writer to pour the perfume on quickly because it dried soon after we discovered the letter. That means this note was written almost as soon as we entered Vasa's suite. Okay, same time with him. The fact remains that somebody wrote this note while we were investigating Vasa's suite. Okay. <laughs> you were there. Are you trying to say that person was me? Exactly. I hate installing SIM equipment. I yeah, must be hard since you installing the SIM what SIM racing thing eh? Oh good luck. I believe in you. You can do it. Just know that you're not as dumb as me. <laughs> I think you're grasping at straws. <laughs> Sometimes the screws don't want to fit. Aww. Hate it when that happens. I'm just a loaf of bread, Corgi. Hey, y'all. Kinda want to eat now. <laughs> So not much brain here, only bread. I y'all, I think bread is smarter than me though. As long as you're not me. Actually, we're not. Uh, right, Chaya? Right, we have conclusive evidence. <laughs> what? Oh, no, stop asking me questions. Do you know what gave it away, Amara? You dumb bitch. Uh... Hmm, the fact that Vas ran from the room, I think. I think this lah. This is my final answer. Of course I ran. I had to rush off urgently because I found actor's suicide note. Hmm. That's a lie. I'm sure of it. You had another reason to run. Yeah, I was right. I was right. Go on. At first, I didn't understand your behavior. Yeah, the why, the reason why you had to leave the suite in such a hurry eluded me. You thought we suspected you of being the copycat phantom thief, so you had to throw off our suspicions. But I have news for you. Probably not the direct translation. <laughs> the bottle of perfume you used was tampered with. Chat Noir played a trick on you. It was meant to spill everywhere when used. I see, so that's why the calling card was soaked like that. Now Vas faced a dilemma. 
バスさんが気にしていたことそれは God dang it I think he said some she said something else バスとかとのあれなバス wanted to know what, 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 what is it a m e r a His undeniable bulk His obvious body order His silly hairstyle Honestly, you don't want a body order, I think. Since we're talking about this now, he's, uh, he's undeniable bulk. Yeah, we don't know, but if I get wrong, whatever. <laughs> I smell. <laughs> When take Metroid Red, I ran back and forth one room, never saw the door to the left I was supposed to take. I know. <laughs> I smell, but I shower regularly. Yeah, me too. I shower too. Smell nice. We aren't talking about your natural smell, thus. Mm. Smell of perfume. Ah. If the perfume was designed to spill everywhere, then. Oh, no wonder he changed his clothes. The letter wouldn't have been the only thing drenched in perfume. The person he used it would have been drenched too. And obviously, you'd suspect someone who smells exactly like the note. You ran off to get rid of the smell of the perfume you were drenched in before we could notice it. That's why you covered yourself in so many things from soup. To wine. <laughs> wine, water, soup. It was all to try and cover up the scent. <laughs> We've talked long enough. Time to kick ass. I now have quite a roundabout way to prove our suspicions correct. <laughs> Both your body and the clothes you are wearing should have traces of perfume on them still. Smell him. Me don't wanna. No. Barawa, you smell him. <laughs> What? Another time I did start of a matrix fusion? As I thought, I was stuck. Just to get back to exact same place in front of what I was supposed to do. Hey y'all. <laughs> It's okay. It still doesn't reach my level of dumb. Perhaps we've tried to wash the scent off, but. <laughs> It won't work. The Phantom Thief's perfume is not that easy to remove. That's true. Even his calling cards that have been found out in the rain still have the smell. He'd, he'd hate to let his perfume wash off with a little splash of water. Oof, Oof dang. The worst. Just touching a note is enough for the smell to hang around on your hand for days. It lingers on the fingers even more than garlic. That's very potent. Hey, y'all. But if we were to smell your body, yeah, you guys do it. I don't want. Leave me out of this. 
We would know instantly whether or not you are the copycat phantom thief. Because nobody other than the one who wrote the fake calling card, that is, the copycat phantom thief, would smell of that perfume. You're out of cake, out of excuses, Vas. <laughs> yeah, detective, please take a big whiff of him. Yeah, Barawa, do it. <laughs> Why me? I can't just go around sniffing another man. Go do it, Barawa. Do it. Well, I can't either, and you guys can't tell me to do either. No, not me. Damn. He didn't say anything, actually. Is this the end of the line? <laughs> the there it is, the evil laugh. Everyone. What's wrong, Lyria? She's coming. I can feel it. It's Mamon. He got her booty out. Wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> At the end of that, you got this, okay? I don't think I click summer better. Catch the great arigato. Be right back, gonna eat some food. Enjoy your food, Yamper. Nice yum yums. It's Mamon. She's trying to manifest. Oh, yeah? Oh, wait, I need to check the sink. <laughs> Like, go take a nap. Bye bye. I'll oh, have a nice nap. <laughs> this is her reaction to us cornering Vass. I need to check. Okay, still thinking. But just a little lag. Like, let me check. Okay, okay. A nap at this hour? Of course, a nice little nap. It's so nice. It's chill. It's chill time. Very cool. I take a nap too, but no. Take a nap in the morning. She's trying to protect him. Let's throw her a big welcome party with lots of pointy things. <laughs> Come on, Amara, I've had enough talk. I'm in the mood for action. You don't even fight, Vern. We just stand there, watch. There she is, a primal beast. I don't know what she's riding, actually. Her booty is out. <laughs> She doesn't want to fight us. Well, that was weird. Where did that primal beast go? How the hell? Ding ding ding. And now it makes sense. Vas's gun is Mamon in disguise. I didn't know primal beast can do that. Disguise? You can't feel her power when she's in gun mode? Gun mode. Activate. That's right. That's how it comes and goes so easy. I see. Mamon appears when you carry that gun. 
銃を部屋に戻したんですね。When Vas said the Phantom Thief had stolen it, Vas really just put it back in his suite. That's all nice and dandy, but the real question is if we defeat the primal beast, will the copycat Phantom Thief be stopped? I think so. If they're acting solely under the influence of Mamon, who put Mamon in that gun? In that gun. Then maybe the kind and generous Vas that Barawa knows will return. Hmm. <laughs> This is the first time I've ever seen a primal beast up close. <laughs> I'm thinking about taking my daily 8 hour nap too, then. <laughs> Yay, it's a very long nap. Me too, I think it would be wise for us to hide in a safe place. <laughs> <laughs> no, we shall not quiver in the shadows. I've been prepared to fight a primal beast since I joined the military. Let's do this, Saya. Amara. Gee. Well, we call our own primal beast against this primal beast. There's Mamon. Why are you riding? A bird? What is that? It got wings. Why is it steaming? So many questions. But no question from Belia. Hell you. Go my primal beast on your ears. Mm, lots of boosts. Lots of boosts. Get wrecked, get wrecked. I'm not letting her attack me. Not touching me. Get them. Is it this? No, not this. 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 <laughs> Easy peasy. He never stood a chance. Ah, it's another day already. <gasps> Chat Noir's perfume. Okay, Saria and Chat Noir. Great detective. Yeah, yeah. Me so smart. We got the ending. Finally. Play the ending. The crew defeats the primal beast Mamon. Very easy peasy. With Mamon's fall, Vas collapses and loses consciousness briefly. Where am I? Hey, he's opening his eyes. Vas, old friend, are you alright? Hi, the primal beast. She had my heart in her hand. She twisted my mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Wendy give you the card. Well, I have a bit of good news for you. Chat Noir wrote you a get well card. I'll read it. Now that this incident has been resolved, I can tell you that I do not blame you for using my name. 
しかし繰り返すことのなきよう夢夢を忘れなくだとさ<笑> But let's not have a repeat of this episode shall we? Yours mischievously s h a t n o i r 本当に迷惑をかけた I was completely out of control. <laughs> He got whipped. I got whipped good. <laughs> you were a real pain in the ass, fault. You blooded swine. Threatening the casino management, using your money to destabilize the casino. Did you think it was funny, pig? <laughs> I've learned my lesson. Please stop. I'll return all my winnings with interest. And I'll pay with some new facilities. Just name it and I'll find it. <laughs> Whatever you want, anything, just name it. <laughs> no, now we're talking. And so the threat of both the Phantom Thief and the copycat both disappeared. Although Vasa's mind was not his own when he threatened the casino, plenty of cash was squeezed out of him as pus- punishment. And for a while, he was even forced to work as a bunny waitress. Wait, I wanna see. He was even forced to work as a bunny waitress. <laughs> hey, Lyria, I was wondering about something. What is it, Vern? You said that Mammon increases desire, right? After absorbing her, do you feel okay? Oh my. <gasps> Lyria has big desire for food. Well, my tummy has been feeling super empty for a good while now. I have a strange feeling that I'm going to eat even more than usual at dinner tonight. Now that she has Mammon with her, she might even try to eat the sheep if she gets hungry enough. Detective Barawa and the Jewel Resort Incident. The end. Yay! Oh my god, what? <laughs> Detective, slow down! <laughs> slow down? I'm leaving as soon as I finish packing. You only need your chair. Why are you in such a hurry, Sherlock Holmes? It's the Phantom Thief. He sent us another letter. No, what? I thought we were done with this. Um, I don't remember. Chat Noir never rests. Lyria, Vern, Amara, lend me your help. Hell no, Barawa. You resolve your sexual tension with Chat Noir all on your own. Leave us out of this. I also would like to ask for your help. I just have a feeling that things are going to get a little messy. Hmm. We don't even get paid. Why not? Can't really say no, right, Amara? Yes, we can. 
We have the right to say no. Unless he gives us Bella nuts. Sure, let's get going, Amara. Okay, I get dragged. Lyria always drags me everywhere. And <laughs> that's the end. Parawa, the jewel resort incident. Phantom Thief Shan Noir has been added. Bass has been added. Ethor. The one mammon glove. Noise. Nice. A new side story has been unlocked. This is the next one, right? Yeah, it's again. Oh, I want to double make sure. Yeah. And the unfortunate fortune. A mystery quest. Oh, Jina Art. Okay. I see. Hmm, massive wind damage to all foes. Meh. 25% only? Ah oh, well. Not interested. Yeah. Let's read the journal. Gotta go out of our way to go to Lyria's journal. It's another day in GBF. Journal with Hmm. Wait, uh. What is Phil Notes? Oh, okay. I guess I have to remember. Sorry, sorry, casebook. I wanna read. It do be a reading stream. Chat Noir managed to lure us onto the Jewel Resort Casino Liner. Then the detective's close friend, Buzz, suddenly went missing, and we conducted an immediate search. Witnesses told us Buzz stumbled into soup, wine, and a bucket of water. And unfortunately, we deduced much too late, and he was trying to cover his tracks. Had we not been preoccupied with catching Chat Noir, we would have seen through Vas's ruse much sooner, and the Phantom Thief would not have had us in the palm of his hand. Perhaps if I had shared these concerns with Barawa, we would have been better. We, we would have been better able to keep our wits about us. Hmm. Uh, see. What? Is it a Chat Noir, is it? Not really sure. Chat Noir's perfume. Hmm. A passage from Saria's casebook. Of the many items found as evidence during the Jewel Resort incident, one of them was the Phantom Thief's perfume. At first, it smells like a fresh flower coming into bloom. Then it changes into the scent of a strong spring breeze before ending with a hint of a cat's sweetness. <laughs> then you smell like a cat. The various scents probably symbolize his grand entrance and mockery before fading into the wind with a high-pitched laugh. <laughs> high pitch. I am not particularly knowledgeable of perfume, so I am unsatisfied with my description to that end. However, I obtained the cooperation of a feral cat to ascertain a cat's odor. I would also like to add that the mid-section of the calling card addressed to the detective have a distinct scent of the pipe from which he usually smokes. Smoky? Smell like smoky? Then if I want to read about the characters, I have to go to the characters instead? Does my thingy include Ah, I see. Series. Wait, eh, no. I have to go find the people then. Chat Noir, is he a rune, I think? I must read. I must read. Oh, he's not. I think he's human. God dang. See, where is C? NPC. 
Can I read? Or not? Where can I read? Where can I read your thingy? Toys in journal. Is it in story? Yeah, in story. Eh? No, not this. It's a different class. Event list. Right? Jewel Resort Incident. Next. That's, uh, I don't know, that's number four, I think. This one. Ah, oh, it doesn't. Only says about him. Ah. Oh, we only want the story one. The thief that took the world by storm. He has caused mayhem all across the skydom. But none can decipher the motive behind his crimes. Many have tried, but thus far all is known is that he always leaves a note of where he will strike next, and that he never resorts to the taking of life. Many imposters of the Chat Noir name have risen up, but it's never long before Chat Noir himself puts an end to their foolery. Voiced by Yoshitsugu Matsuoka. You don't know who that. He's a twink. Go back, right? Minoru Inaba. I think I recognize that name though. Oh, he's sitting on a pile of money. Oh, cash, cash, cash. He was once penniless, but one day accidentally received an old clunky airship. He took it on a trip to the sky and returned with a mountain of treasure. He has since lived in abundant luxury, but his past self has taught him to be generous to education and welfare. Oh, I see. How about Hector? A knight who went with Vas on his trip into the sky. Even as Vas has become exceed exceedingly wealthy, Hector continues to support him as his right-hand man. He himself admits to having one of those faces, the NPC faces, and is constantly mistaken for someone else. Voiced by Seiro Ogino. Dang, I don't want to read the, the above one. It's just there. Hmm, unlocking the character's fate episode. I see. I don't want to change the world. We, it, we go to a place. Wait, not here. In quest. It's very loud music. I want the one that's chill. Here. It's not here. Go home here. And it's pretty chill. Let me move my leg a bit. Why not we do another side story? Because we're here. Let me check. And the unfortunate fortune, right? So many. I can do so many. Uh, what's the word? Side stories now after we've done a lot of um, main story. Where is it? This. After that, we do. Hmm. Still, lots of things locked. This is our aim. Where we can see Belial and die to him. But that's still a long way to go. Amara and the crew are savoring the end of their summer vacation in a goose day. Is this part of the summer vacation series? Let me see. Nah, it's not. Okay. It's just a separate Detective Barawa. 
When they run into Detective Barrow and his assistant Staria, the two tell the crew about a new Phantom Thief mystery, and the crew decides to lend a hand. G. A new side story. On it. Very nice place. On a calm evening, the setting sun lights up the shores of Auguste. We always end up in Auguste Island. Sitting alone on the beach, Amara and Lyria relax and take in the gentle sound of the waves. I think she has a scarf now. This is a new addition. Besides the hat, the sun hat. Now she has a scarf. What a beautiful night. And the breeze is so calming. <laughs> it looks like we have the beach to all uh, to ourselves, Amara. The tourists all seem to have left. We always do summer vacation here. I guess summer vacation is almost over. We oh, what's wrong, Lyria? Did it? There was some good food. Why did you eat, Yamper? After the stream, I'm gonna go eat too. Gonna go feed the cats too. All of us gonna go eat. No, it's nothing. I guess I'm just a little sad. <laughs> yeah, what do you have? Nuggets and fries. Oh, yummies. I want some nuggets and fries too. Reminds me of McDonald's. Which I haven't had this year. I haven't had my first McD in 2024. Hey, there you are. Are you guys ready to go? Yeah, why? Is it time to leave? It will be soon. We should head back into town and get some souvenirs. Good idea. Are you ready to go, Amara? Yeah, sure. Amara and company go into town to finish preparing for a departure. Oh la la. Upon arriving, they found eh, they find they find the townsfolk in a in a clamor. Anxiety and excitement fill the air. <laughs> What? It can't be. I thought that was just a rumor. You saw the letter, didn't you? And just look at the port. Ships are coming in from everywhere. <laughs> I have had Meg... <laughs> I have had Meg a couple of times in 2024. Noise. I even had a latte last Saturday, eh, la last Sunday. Noise hand. Yum, yum, yum. Make these to start the 2024. Okay, everyone, please remain calm. We are experiencing major congestion. Please follow our instructions and we will get through this. The traffic jam. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy man, I've been itching for some action. Now's my uh, now's my chance to get that reward. <laughs> what's the reward? <laughs> hey, what's going on here? Why is everyone crowding around? He <laughs> sure is crazy here. Rumors? A letter? Some big reward? <laughs> he doesn't have his chair anymore. We're not good citizens. He's wearing a corset. Look at that. Noise.
この名探偵バロアが今度こそ奴を捕らえ平和を取り戻してみせましょう He finally standing up I, the great detective Barawa will catch that criminal and return peace to your town <laughs> Chat Noir again. Your days are numbered, Phantom Thief Chat Noir. Yeah, vibration. Tentai, eh, Tentai Ochan, is it? Old man detective. You still call him Sherlock Holmes in the translation. And the Phantom Thief? He's not in his chair anymore. You can't call him that. Wait, detective. This is no time for dramatics. We need to start gathering clues. Oh, you're here too, Saria. What exactly is going on here? Hello everyone, you're here just in the nick of time. In the nick of time to get dragged into another side story that has nothing to do with Belial. We've got a mystery on our hands. I'm sorry to ask so suddenly, but do you think you can help us out? No. A mystery? And you want our help? <laughs> Flashback, Amara and company last saw Detective Barawa and his assistant Saria during the incident at the Jewel Resort Casino. I am Detective Barawa, the man who tracked the Phantom Thief to the very ship on which we stand. And I'm his assistant, Saria. That's why we're here at the Jewel Resort Casino. In pursuit of the Phantom Thief, Barawa and Saria previously investigated the location where the letter was sent. The crew also got caught up in the mystery and helped out as best as they could, even with the dumbest captain they ever had. <laughs> <laughs> That's the part they remember. You're very special to me, Detective Barawa. Of that, I have no doubt. You just kissed already. But you must realize and accept that we are destined to be rivals. So, you came out here just to say that to me? <laughs> well, there was one other thing. <laughs> you three, Amara, Vern, Lyria, what do you want? You <laughs> I want to thank you for participating in my little game. You have helped to make it quite entertaining. Thank <laughs> you. Not the smoke screen. Though the crew solved the mystery, they were unable to capture the phantom thief. They vowed not to let him escape a second time. Since then, the crew has helped Barawa and Sara solve mysteries ac all across the sky. Oh. Even though this is our second event. No, I get it now. The whole town's in a ruckus because of that phantom guy. Yes, so will, will you help us put a stop to all this madness? No. Don't wanna. Darn it. Of course, we'd be glad to help. Right, Amara? No, Lyria. We should learn to say no. Don't wanna. 
I just want to sleep all day. Oh, thank you. Now then, let's get Barawa over here so we can review the situation. What dumbassery will we witness today? You gotta help us, detective. We're losing visitors from all this. How about a drink on the house? <laughs> really? For years? Ah, you just leave it to me. That phantom thief has been my rival for years. <laughs> Detective, I heard you used to be in the military. No wonder you're so big and strong and baratiri. <laughs> I thought all draft men is big and strong because of their genetics. Well, word sure gets around. People with horns, they're called draft. They're the draft races here. Are very strong. And the ladies, they have big booba usually. <laughs> very well end out people. Well, you know, I was in the military when I first confronted the Phantom Thief. The moment I saw him, I knew we were fated to be lovers. I mean rivals. Hey, has he been drinking? Hmm, I think he's about to tell us another one of his tales. Alright, this time he got his doggy. Ah, oh, detective. Can we at least get your dog taken care of first? His dog called Buddy. Yeah, Buddy. Buddy doesn't have any voice lines. They don't manage to record any dog noises for Buddy. Woof. And so begins the story of another Phantom Thief mystery. Like fireworks soaring into the sky, a new adventure is here to whisk away those end of summer blues. Ah la la, who we get? Oh, another version of Barawa. Not on his chair. My dear friends, I am the notorious Phantom Thief. I would like to inform you that I will be taking possession of the treasure on Palafagos Island. I will bring the treasure to light and show the world its power. Chat Noir. <laughs> A letter from him. Got Marawag of Fairy and Mary. I see. Play the story and have Barawa join your party. He's on the... He's on a motorbike. Oh, this virgin got his doggy with him. I need to check the sink. Let's check the sink. Down, up, down, up. Okay. Start all. Gonna make sure. <laughs> What is going on here? Ooh, it's a nice green background. I like the nice green background. What is going on here? What's the matter, Barawa? Crackling? <laughs> Look at this red stack beetle. I've never seen one this big before. Where? 
cross the Don Shao, right in front of Barawa. A stately beetle with a large jaw is feeding on some sap. Red stag beetle? You mean that red thing? Wow, it's beautiful. Isn't it? They say it changes color as it gets older. Hmm, when it's young, it starts out kinda orange, but then it slowly turns red. It only becomes deep red like this if it's lived for a really long time. Hmm. The deeper the red, the more valuable it becomes. Some of them have even been traded for thousands of rupees. I bet this little guy is worth a fortune. Hmm. Wow, I had no idea bugs were so valuable. And that's just the beginning. Ooh, giant stags are worth tens of thousands, and golden stags are worth hundreds of thousands. As for the elusive rainbow stags, well, here on Palapagos, oh, I think the letter put an H in Palapagos. Palapagos Island, a thick forest covers the land as it borders the edge of the sea. Pretty, kinda pretty green. The rough environment fosters unique wildlife and no one has dared to live in it for years. As a result, the island has become shrouded in mystery. Oops, sorry. Accessible only by boat. The crew arrives there after a long ride across the sea. <laughs> well, I never thought I'd spend a night sleeping on a boat, but we sleep in our flying ship every day. What's the difference? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just that this all came up so suddenly. Don't sweat it, Saria. If we don't help solve this thing, we won't be able to leave anywhere. <laughs> anyway, why? Who say? Why we cannot just leave? That's very kind of you to say so. Now then, allow me to explain what's being up. Look, a rhinoceros beetle, and it's carrying a mate on its back. <laughs> I get read now. Detective. He sure likes bugs. I wonder where he gets all the enthusiasm from. He can be a bit fanatical about insects. Okay then, I'll just explain everything myself. Mm. It's bedtime for me. Thanks for the stream. See ya, Emerald. Have a nice sleep and thanks for coming by. Have nice dreams. Nice variety dreams. <laughs> Before he strikes, the phantom thief always sends a letter to his target. His letter arrived a few days ago, which is right when we were hired. (laughs) 
The people who got it are pretty big in a goose day, right? They're the uh special a very long name. The Auguste Isle Special Economic Cooperative. The chief. Their chief, to be specific. How come I cannot pronounce that right? But to be honest, something seems strange about this entire incident. Naruhoro, I see. I think I get the gist of what's going on, but none of it seems to make sense. The chief. Oh, is that not the kind of thing the Phantom Thief is usually after? It's certainly not un unprecedented, but we still find it difficult to believe. Mm, well, the treasure is not as much of a concern. The greater issue at hand is clearing up all that congestion in town. I understand, sir. In any case, the treasure is not his goal. Rather, he seeks to cause mayhem wherever possible. <laughs> yes, I suppose so. In any case, could we take a look at that letter? Hmm, of course. Here it is. <laughs> My dear friends, I am the notorious phantom thief, Shad Noir. I would like to inform you that I will be taking possession of the treasure on Palapagos Island. I will bring the treasure to light and show the world its power. I'm assuming the treasure is a primal beast. It's that perfume again. That just means it's authentic. Palapagos Island is jointly ruled by the governors of the surrounding areas. As such, it does not belong to any one government. The Phantom Thief must have known that, so he sent the letter here to City Hall. Both the treasure and the victim are ambiguous. This mystery is getting stranger by the minute. Please, you must help us. We've prepared a boat for immediate departure. We've also created this new weapon to assist you. <laughs> a weapon? <laughs> I have no need for such things. The only thing I need is my skull. But you fight with a gun. <laughs> what? Your skull? Are you saying you don't need your brain? <laughs> well, thank you for the arrangement, sir. I'm afraid I must be off now to investigate. Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> Mm, 
the Phantom Thief's going after that treasure? Well, at least he's being honest about it. So this <laughs> Vern didn't even appear just now. I suppose so. But the people of Auguste have long believed that treasure to be a myth. Regardless, the entire island seems to be in an uproar after hearing about the letter. Sure, the Phantom Thief's at fault here, but rumors of crime can't be good for tourism either. Yeah, that's true. So now that we're here, how do you plan on catching the Phantom Thief? Ah, uh, well, it seems like the detective has a plan. <laughs> Look, Zarya, it's one of those rare beetles I was telling you about. So, so is he. Oh, is that right, is it? Uh. Bara seems like he's always wanted to be a bug researcher. Yeah, Barawa, you don't seem worried at all though. Are our chances of solving it that much better than the last case? <laughs> Not exactly. The crime scene here is the biggest one we've ever faced. <laughs> But fear not, I've been brushing up my detective skills. Tante, Tante. Skill up? What did you do? Skill up? <laughs> you have? Hmm. Oh, you have nothing to worry about. Hmm, so, what are we gonna do? I've already devised a plan. I'm devising my plan of seating. Seating The Phantom Thief hasn't stolen anything yet, right? That must mean he's here on this island, looking for the treasure. So good. So good. So. If we find the treasure, then we'll find him, Shed Noir. Oh, I see. You're saying we have to find the treasure before he does. Precisely, he might be a step ahead of us now, but with the crew by our side, we'll catch up in no time. Even he gets ahead of us, we can still catch him when we get to the treasure. Mm -hmm. That's not a bad plan. <laughs> wow, Barawa, you really have your skills up. <laughs> you really outdone yourself. <laughs> well then, let the investigation begin. We're searching for treasure. Okay, good luck everyone. I hope nobody dies in here. <laughs> Chief of Auguste, Archana Stag Beetle and Palapagos Island. Stag Beetle and Palapagos. Hmm. Following the trail of clues, Barawa marches confidently onward, with Amara and company following closely behind. 
While walking between them, Saria reviews her notes regarding the treasure. From what I can tell, the only information about the treasure comes from an old legend. Hmm. I wish we had more time to research all this. Don't fret it, we're here now, and there's no turning back. That's right, so what does the legend say? Well, it's just an old wives tale that dates back before the war. Long ago, a ruthless pirate ruled the Sea of Auguste. He plundered every ship in his path and amassed a great amount of treasure, but as fate would have it, disaster befell him in the form of a shipwreck. The wreck. He awaited rescue on a remote island at the edge of the sea, but no one ever came, so he was forced to live out the rest of his days there alone. They say his treasure is buried in the middle of the island under the roots of a great tree. Hmm, that's pretty vague. So what's in the treasure? Well, not much has been said about it. It's lots of booty. No, but the Phantom Thief believes the treasure is real, right? I don't know, but I don't think he would have sent that letter if, if he was only working with rumors. Hey, Saria, you better watch your step here. These roots are sticking up rather high. Oh, thank you, detective. Hmm, don't you worry about what the Phantom Thief knows. We'll pry that all out after we capture him. Hmm. <laughs> For now, let's just enjoy the walk. Uh, no wonder he doesn't use his chair anymore. He wants to enjoy the walk in the park. This place is insect paradise. Detective. Balawa. Good call, Balawa. Whatever detective training you did must have worked. Now we're really confident in you. <laughs> it's all in a day's work for a detective like me. <laughs> Well then, let's keep moving. We should head this direction, right? What direction is that? Wait, have you just been... <laughs> just kidding. Behold, my new compass. Now you can see we're headed in the right direction. <laughs> you really had us going there. 
departing from the shore and moving at a speed. Hmm, it looks like we're making great time. We should arrive at the center of the island by nightfall. <laughs> Yosh, excellent. Follow me, everyone. It's very chill. Let me, I want to drink some water. I want to charge the phone, right? It's a short, a tiny little break. I want to drink some water. Hydrate my throat. Move my legs. Excuse me while I... Maybe I don't need to move this. See. Click. Yeah, I'm gonna get some water first. Here's a bit of water. Oop, oop, oop. <laughs> not a good idea to do another side story since I just how do you enjoy the game so far well I've been playing only this game since last year last year August I don't remember when it's the only game I play I don't play any other games <laughs> well I do like it I get to see Belial <laughs> it's it's a grinding game. <laughs> Off stream, I just grind, join raids. Just collect characters so that I can watch, I can l read all the stories on stream. It's just me experiencing the GBF story on stream. <laughs> Continue. And this is only the side story. It's not even the main story or what. <laughs> I got so many texts and dialogues. <laughs> Alright, the audio is wonky. It's always like that for a bit. I'll just leave it mute for. Just this one. The crew continues toward the treasure. The trees above protect them from the sun. And the cool breeze rejuvenates them. Okay. <laughs> Standing in front is Barawa, who leads the way with a compass in hand. <laughs> what do? Hey, Barawa, what kind of bug is that? Hmm, it appears to be a band-winged uh, grasshopper. Jojo? Jojo? <laughs> but it has such beautiful wings. I'm just using this game to improve my speaking. Because I don't talk a lot, actually. It's only when I started streaming that I finally talk. Or oh, else I just talk to my kitty cats. It sort of looks like a butterfly, doesn't it? But those wings are just for camouflage. It's actually a grasshopper. What? A grasshopper that looks like a butterfly? <gasps> I will never see it. <laughs> No, I see it now. That's a pretty clever disguise. But why would it disguise as a butterfly though? Bird's gonna eat it anyway. <laughs> hmm, I guess you could say it's the phantom thief of the insect world. Oh, 
I've never seen this insect before. Oh yeah, they have a new new game. Apa open world RPG game called uh, GPF Relink that everyone is playing right now. I haven't watched it. But if you want to be able to explore and look at the beautiful world, experience the GBF world, an open world, go play that game. GBF Relink. It came out like on the 1st of February. Oh, I've never seen this insect before. <laughs> Took me a lot of time to get used to speaking English. When I make videos, I was silent. Oh, what kind of videos do you make, Yamper? Is it like video video games? Let's play. Is it? Hmm, never seen this insect before. <laughs> oh really? Maybe you've discovered a new breed. Which one are you looking at? <laughs> that thing is poisonous. Get away from there. Oh yeah, I guess Barawa is still scared after that time the Phantom Thief played a trick on him. <laughs> I can't help it. He dropped those things onto my face. Well, the toy version anyway. Oh, it wasn't real bugs actually. <laughs> That would be pretty freaky. After we capture him, you can get some payback. Yeah, spank his booty. <sighs> More of those poison bugs. Are we almost there? <laughs> yes, I'm sure of it. Do you see a large ancient looking tree anyway? Anywhere? Very giant tree. Uh, well, not around here. Are you sure we should believe those myths? Ah, we must believe all of the myths in JRPGs. I suppose they are pretty vague. Even if we took them to be true, there's no guarantee that the so-called Great Tree still exists. Oh, uh, uh, tired. Uh, me kinda tired too. But I'm gonna push through. Using this dream as me. To, uh, to make me stay up too. <laughs> I just resetted my sleep schedule today. Probably not a good idea to do another side story. But I'll push through. I'm sorry to be a bother, but I'm getting kind of worn out. But not EP. I do videos when I do some sim racing, and other times I do random games. Oh, I see. Just do like, what's the word? Silent commentary and uh, no commentary video games then. <laughs> but when I started to speak, I spoke so fast, I sounded like a sports commentator and no one could understand me. Well, I probably wouldn't be, un wouldn't understand you too if you speak so fast. <laughs> me. I can only understand like slow talking. <laughs> yeah, this terrain can really take it out of you. Let's find a spot to take a break. Hey, take a break. <laughs> oh, there's a very loud forest sound. Is the Kikada is the house? No, I talk for one year and can't be silent. No one can silence you. Cannot be silenced. 
Hey, does this place seem familiar to you? That's strange. I'm sure we're on the right track. We've been going straight north, haven't we? Hmm, well, this looks like the place we took that break. Hmm, detective, do you think your compass might be broken? <laughs> what? No way. This thing? It's brand new. Here, take a look. Oh. But it's all thanks to my friend's apart. Ah, oh, that's nice. Oh, no, I still speak broken English. <laughs> You've had all practice. Oh well. We'll just try. Hey, uh, me too. Still very cozy till morning. When a compass is broken, it points all over the place, right? But this thing is pointing as straight as an arrow. <gasps> what? As Saria takes the compass, the needle spins around and points in the opposite direction. Bagana, <laughs> unbelievable! I know it says we've been going south. Saria, give me that thing. As the compass returns to Barawa's hand, the needle points back in the opposite direction. <laughs> Stunned by the turn of events, the crew stands there in shock. <laughs> What's going on here when Barwa holds it, the compass points north, but when Saria holds it, it turns the other way. Hmm. I know what's happening. This island must be magnetically unstable. Jiki? <laughs> I don't know what's Jiki. Uh, what? Maybe it's magnetic? Jiki is magnetic? Or interference? I don't know. The compass is probably being affected by some kind of magnetic interference. That's what's causing it to act like that. What a peculiar island. Hmm, I see. So, what you're saying is, we've gone completely off course, and we have no idea where we are. Basically, we're lost, and if we don't find our way back, we'll have to sleep out here. Camping time. Detective, you seem unusually calm about all this. No, I get it. You've thought of another plan. That's how Barawa, your training is really paying off. Skill up. <laughs> no, it's simple. We just call for help real loud. <laughs> Somebody help us. <laughs> Detective, stop. The Phantom Thief might hear us. I don't want to shout. We don't scream in this stream. <laughs> I don't care. It's dark and scary out here, and it smells funny. Stinky. <laughs> 
What happened to all that talk about your skill up? All that training. And surely you went camping during your military days. <laughs> Detectives don't have to sleep in the forest. That's why I quit the military. <laughs> hey, me anybody. <laughs> Did you hear that? I think someone's coming toward us. <laughs> We're over here. Help. <laughs> She's also yelling, somebody help me. Oh, excuse me? Oh. <laughs> I thought she doesn't have voice and I had to wait. <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> wait a sec, aren't you married? <laughs> hey, you guys. Boy, am I glad to see you. You see, I'm in a bit of trouble. Oh. <laughs> we can beat your ass. What? Hey, wait. We didn't choose any party for this... For this chapter. What? Are these your little friends? <laughs> Amara, I think this person is out for blood. <laughs> What the hell? You guys are hunters too, right? I got some secret info after taking down those other guys. Rival? Hunters? Secret info? Other guys? Rivals? What are you talking about? Hmm. Don't worry about that now. It's time to go find a treasure. And by that, I mean it's time to kill you. Get rid of you. Wait, we're fighting? I don't remember choosing anyone. I didn't even bring Belial. Summons cannot be used in this quest. I see. Oh. And we use all fire people, huh? And I'm in my default outfit. Ah, uh, darn it. Hey, what dong? I didn't mean to. Touch all attack. Nah, just attack lah. This isn't fair. They do this to me and I die. It's not fair. But I'll take it. Continue playing the story. The crew fights off the crazed man. However, they are still confused as to why he attacked them in the first place. To add to the mystery, Mary, the treasure hunter, who was supposed to return home for the summer, now stands before them. <sighs> you saved me. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> oh. Hey, we're just glad you're okay. But aren't the treasure hunters meeting in town? What are you doing all the way out here? Mm, well, right after I got in town, I heard about the treasure. I just couldn't sit still after that. Oi, <laughs> And what was the deal with that guy? He is also looking for treasure. This place has recently become the center of attention for treasure hunters like us.
if that if that phantom guy is looking for the treasure too, it must be real. That explains why people are flooding in. You think so? But they're just going after the treasure, aren't they? So why are they attacking us? Some of them are treasure hunters, but some of them are just roughnecks looking for trouble. I'm not sure why, but rumors about the treasure seem to be spreading through their hangouts. But at this point, some people are just trying to survive. This island has gotten pretty dangerous. We don't wanna die here. Unbelievable. I wonder where all the information is coming from. Hmm, I'd certainly like to know that myself, but this is no time for speculation. We have to keep moving. You were panicking a while ago. Calling for help. Oh, but I thought you said we were lost. How are we supposed to find the treasure? It's this way. I can probably help you with that. I mean, I could pretty much take you any place on this island. Yay, Mary should the rescue. He know the way. What? You know where the treasure is? It was, it was easy. Yeah, I was just there. But while I was scoping up the area, the guy came after me. So I haven't had a good look at it. Hmm, Sasuga treasure hunter. You really are a treasure hunter. But how do you find a treasure without a compass? It's not that hard. You can get a sense of where you should go by looking at the leaves, branches, and tree rings. <laughs> wow, she's got detective skills too. Hmm, <laughs> Hmm, I see. You passed the test, Mary. <laughs> what test? Well, it's not like I haven't run into trouble. Anyway, let's go check it out. We're here. This is the center of the island. Roughly speaking. Roughly speaking, why don't we keep going then? We can't. The center of this island is surrounded by cliffs. We can't exactly stroll on through. But I'm sure there's a secret passage around here somewhere. Hey, look over there on that boulder. Looking over at the boulder, the crew sees that something has been carved on it. We cannot see the boulder. You're in the way. Do you see that inscription looking thing on there? If I shine some light on it, can you see anything written? Oh wow, yeah, I see it. <laughs> nice work, Mary. Where there's a... Um... <laughs> hmm. 
Where there's a will, there's a way. Surely those old pirates believe that same thing. This is amazing! Maybe the legends really are true. This is quite a find. I'll, I have no doubt that this was carved by those pirates. We'll go down in history for this. <laughs> well, don't get too excited. He says something else here. What does it all mean? It's so mysterious. I feel like we're being tested. This is where I got stuck. If we can figure this out, maybe we can find a treasure. Nozzle? A mystery, eh? <laughs> It seems the battle of wits has begun. Ah, nah. Not using brain time. <laughs> What's the matter, Vern? Where is your look of admiration? It's already gone. Ad admiration? You said you brushed up your skills, but did you even really do anything? Of course, I've brushed up all my skills so I can catch my rival. But detective, what kind of training have you been doing exactly? I heard Opai. Is he working? I doubled my workout routine. His chest routine? His para buba training. Your workout routine? Didn't you do anything else? <laughs> I bought a jigsaw puzzle. Hmm, anything else? I've been eating all my vegetables. Amazing. Well, that is healthy at least. We should have expected this from Barawa. No. Hey, Amira, I remember the last time we had to solve a puzzle. You did great, despite being such a dumbass. Think you can handle this one? <laughs> Darn it. Oh, uh, yeah, give it a try, Amira. No. Oh, shit. I think I regret. What the heck? Time to find a hidden path? Uh, the. And becomes the elephant. Oh, maybe you get. The man is strong against the end. The end is strong against the elephant. Okay. Huh? What the heck? Which way do you go? Uh... Oh wait... See the answer? <laughs> oh my god... Did I choose the man right? The man is stronger than the ant. The ant is stronger than the elephant. The elephant is stronger than the man. And then the man is stronger than the ant. Oh my god, we got it! Is it? <laughs> Yay! I'm 
not a dumbass. Your powers of deduction astound me. Yeah, I did it. You solved the puzzle. Good work, Captain. Your senses are as sharp as always. No, it's slowing down right now, at this moment. Feeling the tiredness. Yeah, great job. Looks like this tunnel is the passage we've been looking for. No doubt about it. This must be it. This camouflage is very clever. So is this the way we're supposed to go? Is this the way? Do you know the way? Yes, it seems so. Let's move up. The crew begins down the secret passage shown on the inscription. They tread carefully, all the while wondering if the treasure they seek is ahead. Chapter 2 Now we push on Push on So that we will pass out long enough Later Hey Barawa, do you really think those pirates made that te test? In all likelihood, yes. I can't imagine anyone else with that kind of craftsmanship. Really? You know, I was pretty skeptical about that legend at first, but now I'm pretty excited. Oh, I should check the... Uh, the sink. Always gotta check. Even though, so far it's... Okay, it's still okay to think. Nice. I know how you feel, Vern. Pirates, legends, tests. It all it all makes me giddy as a schoolboy. The crew advances down the widening tunnel. The path continues into the distance. Bits of light seep through and illuminate the way. The treasure is up ahead, right? I wonder what the pirates have in store for us. Historically and monetarily speaking, I'm sure it'll be big, but we can't lose sight of our real goal. We have to catch the fan and thief before he... Oh. Hey look, that boulder has something written on it. Two. Oh no, another puzzle. It was just dumb luck. What? It must be another test. I'm sure of it. Oh, nice. Okay. It's just a regular boulder. Don't get ahead of yourselves. I gonna handle another puzzle. <laughs> oh, please excuse us, but I think anyone would be excited at a time like this. No. No excitement allowed. If you like adventure so much, why don't you just become a treasure hunter? That is simply not necessary. Detective work and adventure are similar in terms of their intellectual stimulation. Really? Are you sure you're not just saying that because you hate sleeping outdoors? Oh, 
Hmm. No, the two are just so similar. And I find that sleeping in a nice warm bed is essential for proper brain function. Yay. So, Lyria, what do you want to do if we find the treasure? Hmm, I guess I want to return it to its rightful owner. Ah, oh, but it's super ancient. Come on, Lyria, dream B. Well, what do you want to do with it, Mary? If it's an ancient artifact, I'd add it to my collection. If it's just gold or something, I'd use it to fund my next adventure. Hey, look at this. This coin must be part of the treasure. Ooh. Yes, I'm certain of it, and it has some kind of ancient inscription written on it. Huh. And that's not a coin. He's just a dead pillbark that's been flattened out. <laughs> I hate pillbugs. <laughs> Another scary memory, Barawa. I bet the Phantom Thief is behind this one too. That's. What's the matter, Saria? Maybe. If this legend is true, that other one might be true too. Mm, Saria? <laughs> oh, sorry. I was just thinking to myself. You gotta watch your step. To make matters worse, this tunnel is getting darker. Hmm, mm, it does seem to be getting darker. Light up those torches. Let's find that treasure. Let's go. Oh, Lord. The crew continues down the tunnel, the very light shining in. Barawa leads the way, torch in hand, crackling. Oh my god, my tummy grumbling. Hello. <laughs> okay, okay. But they soon find they can go no further. Oops. Oh, it's a dead end. Yeah, it is. I guess that means the treasure is right here. This place is awfully cramped, though. I thought it'd be in an in a big open space too. Maybe we went the wrong way. No, there was only one way to go. I was playing I was paying close attention. I've got it. They must have buried the treasure in the ground here. Darn pirates, always making things difficult. Anyway, time to dig. Oh, just went down. Wait, don't you think something else could have happened? Maybe someone took it. Wait, mm, position the thing. Hmm, 
He couldn't have been the phantom thief. He didn't send his trademark letter saying he took it. And it probably wasn't another treasure hunter. If it was, this place would be all torn up. Oh, wait. Ow, I broke a nail. Sorry, hand me a shovel. You don't have one. What? A, wait a second. Were you really digging just now? Hmm. It is pretty dark in here. Maybe we missed something. We should have brought more torches. Hey, everyone! I found something on the ground. <laughs> Lyria, I can barely see you. What did you find? <laughs> I don't know. It's so dark that I can't see it. But it feels smooth and round. <laughs> it's treasure, I'm sure of it. Here, Lyria. I'll shine my torch on it. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> Is it a bug? Lyria panics and drops the object. Seemingly alive, it rolls away from Lyria and stops at Barawa's feet. As it comes to, into the light, the object reveals itself as a human skull. Oh lordy. <laughs> It's a skull. <laughs> They're always screaming. <laughs> I think that's... <laughs> hey, be quiet. Let the girls do the screaming, Barawa. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Hmm, it's okay, Lyria. Barawa, can you put that thing somewhere else? Hmm. Okay. Boy, oh, look at me. No, don't say that. Hmm, stop making it worse, Barawa. Now, let's just leave that thing alone. What is it doing here anyway? It was put there by vengeful spirits. Hey, Saria, you're not helping. Well, the old legend does have another version. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I'm sure someone made it up after the fact. Well, those pirates that I was talking about. <laughs> I said I'm not interested. I don't want to hear it. I don't like any of this either, but everyone needs to hear this. I agree. The more we know, the better. Yeah, you guys are right. So, can you stick it out on this one, Lyria? Okay. Ah, sorry. Alright then. As I was saying, there is another version of the old legend. This one tells of the entire crew rather than just the ship captain. 
It mentions a tragedy that occurred after the shipwreck. A tragedy. Don't tell us now. During the last of their days on the island, the crew became extremely agitated. They started to fight over the treasure. I know the first yawn of the day. It had nothing to do with greed. They just needed to vent their rage. After all the fighting, dead bodies littered the island. Those helped foster the insect paradise that we see today. <laughs> They're haunting, but their souls are still restless. Even to this day, they attack any who dare come to Palapagos Island. The treasure is ours, they say. <laughs> Don't do that, you scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I went too far. Oh, so that skull belongs to one of the crew members. It might have belonged to an adventurer that fell victim to the vengeful spirits. Now wait a sec, I thought you said someone made all that up. Well, this place is pretty isolated, so there are certain to be bodies that never got buried. <laughs> but vengeful spirits don't exist. All these bugs and magnetic interference is just a coincidence. Yee, coincidence. Hey. <laughs> there it is! The spirits! What if I just leave there as a hang or as a cliffhanger? Da -da -da. Next time I play GBF, we'll continue with that. But I wonder if I can do the Gears of Conspiracy after I do the, this event. <laughs> this side story. Not sure. Oh well. Having heard a terrifying legend, the crew stands trembling in fear. In that moment, Barawa sees a ghost-like girl behind him and... <laughs> He's opening his eyes. Barawa, are you okay? Hmm. Yeah, but what happened? I'm glad you're okay. You fainted, detective. Oh, well, I thought I saw something strange in the darkness. The shell was too much for me to handle. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is all my fault. <laughs> Barawa, it's okay, it's just fairy. Fairy, the ghost girl who left home in search of her sister. This summer, she visited nearby areas in search of leads. 
unable to gather information on her own, she went back to town to meet up with the crew. I can't believe you left without me to go find that phantom thief. Oh, my tummy is rumbly. We're sorry, Fairy. We got caught up in something urgent. Don't worry about it. I was just going to check out the rest of Auguste anyway. Ooh, Beppo. Oh wait, I still need to adjust. Thanks, Beppo. We never would have found these guys if it wasn't for you. I got doggy. Sorry, fairy. I thought you were one of those vengeful spirits. Oh, well, you might not be wrong about that. What? <laughs> Forget it, Barawa. We can't have you passing out on us again. Don't touch the issue. What's the deal with fairy? Hey. <laughs> Very rude. Very mean. Sorry, sorry. It hurts. <laughs> Mary, I think he's had enough. <laughs> you could sure are funny. Anyhow, wait here. I'm going to go back and look for clues. Detective, let me come too. I've just formulated a theory and... Big and strong, but a scaredy cat. Yeah. <laughs> no, I have to regain my composure. <laughs> Don't come near, he said. Kuruna. Oh. Hmm. Never mind. I just need some time alone to think. <laughs> yeah, who's behind us again? <laughs> Come on already, what is it this time? <laughs> you crazy woman. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? You found the treasure, right? Hand it over before I mash your guts. <laughs> hmm? Great, another treasure hunter. Get out of here. I don't have time for you. <laughs> ah, you're no fun. Go <laughs> hell. <laughs> Wait a sec. Did you pee your pants? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I'm scared to serious. Uh, behold, the feast of justice. <laughs> our fighting, but we didn't pick our party. But well, they just give us a party, and we hope we don't die. Oh, we don't die. Oh, he's only level 12. Bye. Then we can beat them easy peasy. You know what? We go full. Because I'm too lazy to click. Ooh, bounty. Easy peasy, automatic. 
Even though it's not my party. Class level one. Hey y'all. Continue. After getting rid of the treasure hunters, we straight up killed them. Mary has a troubled look on her face. This isn't good. Those guys shouldn't have made it this far. They all seem sorry. <laughs> they all seem to be looking for a fight. It was hard enough for me to get here, but they seem to be coming in waves. There's no way forward, and now it's too dangerous to turn back. Man, we're in a real pickle here. Wait a sec, what were you doing just now, Barawa? Were you burying something? <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't. It wasn't my underwear or anything. Yeah, he peed his pants, right? I was just recreating the scene to investigate. Uh, no, we might we might get cursed by those vengeful spirits just by standing here. Omnio. Vengeful spirits? There are some of those around here? Yes, legend says they're the restless spirits of an old crew. What are you talking about? <laughs> and why is there a skull in here? It was placed there by the spirits. Or so the theory goes. Uh, really? So, is that thing one of the spirits? Fairy scoots closer to the skull. Slowly, she picks it up and enters into a trance. <laughs> Fairy, be careful! You might get cursed! It's okay, I think. If there are any vengeful spirits here, I'll find out pretty soon. But the former owner of this skull is not one of those spirits. What, really? Well, I guess that's the end of that mystery. <laughs> well, I had no idea you could do that, fairy. You passed the test. <laughs> what test? Anyway, look at these symbols. Isn't this one of those pirate tests? Oh no, not another puzzle. My tummy rumbly now. <gasps> what? Oh hey, it's another one of those inscriptions. Don't wanna... Where there's a will, there's a way. But do you know the way? Taking a closer look at the skull, the crew makes out the inscription on the skull. Oh. And look, there's a strange bomb on that wall. Maybe this isn't a dead end after all. <laughs> Another mystery. After they were shipwrecked, those pirates must have been pretty bored. Why me? Me too hungry to solve puzzles. Alright, Amira, let's get cracking. No. Decipher the code. Aw, oh, shit. 
North, North, South. Oh, already. North, North, South, East, West, South, North. North. <laughs> I don't know. Is it right? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no, I got the violin. Hmm, this one's pretty tough. <laughs> I guess. No, how can they play the violin song for me? You get an A for effort, Captain. Now step aside and let a pro take care of this. Whatever, I don't even care. <laughs> Maybe I should fail all the puzzles to let them do the work instead of me. Oh, never mind. Maybe we should look at it like this. Hmm, okay, but if you look at it this way... Oh, I get it now. I think you're onto something. They don't... Okay, they all do it, right? That must be it. I'll just press this bomb here and... <laughs> Maybe I should... I should fail the next puzzle too. Because I don't want to do all the work. They should do it. <laughs> hey, it opened. Nice work, you three. You really improved, Saria. Now we can get out of here. Hmm, yes, we seem to have gotten past the cliffside. Let's keep moving. Upon solving the mystery of the skull, the crew opens a new path forward. A warm breeze blows toward them from the end of the tunnel, but in the distance, a strange place lies in wait. Oh la la! Chapter 2 Finish hmm. House of Horrors Oh my god! Unlock a house? No, I am thinking. Give me a second thought. No, if I stop now, I'll pass out on the bed. <laughs> Don't wanna. Uh, I want to check. I want to check the sink again. Just in case. Down, up, down, up. Okay. Stop, okay. <laughs> the House of Horrors. I must push on for my sleep schedule. <laughs> but a crackling. Hmm, I don't see the Phantom Thief anywhere. So. We're at a house of horrors. <laughs> oh, something just moved over there. No, try to. Okay, maybe it's settled now. Something just moved over there. It's okay, Lyria. It was just the floor creaking. Oh, a creepy house. <laughs> Never mind. This place is giving me the creeps. Oh, sorry. That was just me pulling out the chair. No. After getting out of the out of the cave, the crew entered a valley between the cliffs. There. They found sparsely scattered trees and an old abandoned house. With the sunset and rain clouds moving in, the crew decided to take a rest inside. A rest time. 
I'm glad we finally made it. But the trail of clues seemed to end here. Hmm, the story is really interesting. Yeah, that's. I think that's one of the strong points of Grand Blue Fantasy. Why there are so many like strong, strong following. There's a strong following of GBF. Some, some people have been playing GBF for like ten years now. Cause they they like the story of the GBF developers made for them. Mm, that's why all my streams about GBF, it's only focused on story. I don't do grinding on stream. Yeah, and I don't see that big tree or treasure. Are you sure we're in the middle of the island? <laughs> grinding on that Diablo floor. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> I read it as floor. <laughs> Diablo floor. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Diablo 4, well I listen to your stream, it's nice, and good luck with your grind, be overpowered, just like I am in GBF, be overpowered, <laughs> so that we can breeze through the story, hope that we don't die, yeah, and I don't see that big tree or treasure, are you sure we're in the middle of the island? <laughs> Hmm, yes, I'm sure of it. The surrounding geography and my natural senses tell me so. At least I think they do. The location of this old house. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Supports your theory. However, there was a time when people lived on this island, so we can't say anything for certain. I mean, the old legend indicates that those pirates lived here a long time. But then, if we think of that version with vengeful spirits, Mm. Uh, sorry. <laughs> now she's just conditioned to respond like that. <laughs> Are you two gonna be alright? It must be hard for you to relax in a place like this. In the abandoned house. I'm sorry, detective. I didn't mean to upset everyone. Hmm. <laughs> what are you trying to console me for? Do I look startled or something? <laughs> yes. Are you not? <laughs> don't be ridiculous. I might scare easily, but I don't exactly tremble in the face of superstition. But yeah, I remember him calling out for help. Just because he's lost. I'm just concerned about morale. If things go on like this, we might not be able to continue investigating. Yeah, we don't gather any clues in this mystery adventure. I see. So what do we do? Hmm. Well, I've got an idea. <laughs> no need to fear everyone. I, Barawa, will prove that there is no such thing as vengeful spirits. Hmm. <laughs> really? But how? Hmm. Spirits are real though. 
Yeah, says the spirit right there. <laughs> Maybe it really does translate to elementary. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho, elementary, my dear Lyria. Oh, oh la la, we're investigating the house. We'll run a special investigation. Vern and I will go to the second floor. Saria and Mary will scope out the perimeter. A special investigation? You mean we're gonna look around and make sure nothing weird is going on? Sounds like something to kill time. Sounds like a plan. And if we and if we do any spirit if we do find any spirits, we don't do them. We do find any spirits, we can ask them where the treasure is. <laughs> Easy peasy. <laughs> that does sound good. We might even find more evidence that way. Okay. Fairy and Lyria, you two wait here. In the basement. Amara, you stay with them. Okie dogs. We just gonna sleep here. Don't wanna do anything. Let the special investigation begin. Don't make me solve any puzzles. Continue. The crew runs a special investigation to check for strange activity around the house. Barawa and Vern check the rooms on the second floor, but then... Hmm, nothing strange going on in here either. I hope it settles on its own, the crackling. Nah. Interesting dark room. There's a candle and lamp lit already. Yeah, I guess not. There's just a bunch of regular old stuff lying around. This place hardly seems like a pirate house. Sorry, I did say this house might have belonged to one of the locals. Regardless, there might still be clues here. We better check the closets, just to be sure. Hey, you got it. I'll check this one. There are some tattered old rags in here, but I don't see anything unusual. <laughs> oh my god. Rags, you say? See any underwear in there? <laughs> no, not exactly. Why? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I need, I mean, uh, we need to establish what kind of family they were. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Barawa is going commando right now, at this moment. <laughs> and here I was, thinking you might have peed your pants in that cave. <laughs> Hey, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Nothing. It's just that your reasoning is flawed. You see, I would never go without underwear. Okay, let us see. Let us see, Barawa. Unzip your pants. Okay. I never said you would. That was all you. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, I'm wearing underwear, okay, smart guy? I even bought a new pair just for today. You should have brought spares. I think that means different. What a weirdo. I'm sure the phantom thief is laughing to himself from the shadows. Maybe the phantom thief can help. Oh. <laughs> Hmm. Are you laughing at me? <laughs> he enjoyed the Barawa going commando. No, I said maybe the Phantom Thief was laughing. Anyway, let's go back to investigating. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. There is insufficient evidence to suggest my underwear has gone missing. And there is also nothing strange going on in this room. Hmm. So it all checks out, all clean. Let's move on to the next room. <laughs> I hope we find some underwear in there. Hey, what's in this little box? Hmm, treasure maybe. Just look at that exquisite craftsmanship. <laughs> the family that lived here must have been rich. Or maybe those pirates put some treasure inside. Let's open it up. Uh, ben. No. What is this? It kind of looks like a scarf. Or maybe a fur hat. <laughs> what the? What? Vern realizes that it is neither of those things. He realizes it is, in fact, human hair. Oh my lord. The box was sealed so tightly that it preserved the hair perfectly. Oh lord. It looks as if the hair is still fresh. Oh, that's creepy as fuck. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That is so gross. <laughs> so, what was inside? <laughs> Did you have your eyes closed this whole time? It's hair, okay? Human hair. Ayo. What color? Oh, really? And they say a woman's hair is her life. <laughs> There's not a problem here. Look at it. What the heck? Nah, keep that away from me. Oh lord, what the heck? A creepy lady. Give it back. <laughs> Fine, take it. Hey, that wasn't me. <laughs> it's easy to scare it seems, and that's his endearing part, part of his charm. <laughs> what? But I thought you just said... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Wait, I'm dying. I literally just jumped on my pillow. <laughs> oh lord. Yes, I get scared easily too, it seems. <laughs> okay. Give me back my hair. Oh my gosh. You can't do that. She, she was upside down just like my kitty cat here. <laughs> upside down. 
No one's come back yet. Oh lord. So, so <laughs> I, really? But it has hasn't really been that long yet. They sure woke me up. At least. I hope I didn't. I think I, I can't. <laughs> she hurt me, I think. I'm starting to get worried. <laughs> He'll be okay. They might mess around a lot, but a detective and his assistant are on the case. I'm sure they'll find some clues. <laughs> Very understandable, Ibarawa. <laughs> I would have screamed too. Oh my gosh, there's a bloody handprint on that wall over there. <laughs> Who was that yelling? <laughs> I, uh... Yeah, Lyria doesn't do good with ghosts. I'm scared, I'm so scared. Hmm. You're okay, Lyria. This room is perfectly safe. Hmm. This room is definitely safe. And yeah, we're gonna kick that ghost ass. And I kicked that girl's ass for scaring me. <laughs> the crew runs a special to check for strange activity around the house, okay? Remember what you're doing, kick, kick his ass. I don't know why they remove him. Sorry, Sonai. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hello, hello, lion. Yeah, I'm gonna kick the girl's ass. Kick, kick me. I don't know why <laughs> Streamlabs reacted to that. <laughs> it's okay, but I'm sorry. Sorry, on behalf of my Streamlabs bot. <laughs> Too violent? Nah, I keep, I keep on saying kick his ass, kick everyone's ass this whole stream. Why can't the chat say so? Hmm, I really don't know. You didn't say anything <laughs> offensive or what? Streamlet must be going bonkers. Yeah, hope you're doing well. So, oh, Saria and Mary are nearly finished checking the perimeter when... Ma Mary, <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, it's okay. Okay, doggy. <laughs> okay, hey Mary, can I ask you a question? Why, she looks so scared. The tombstone looking thing over there. What is that? Oh, I don't want to get jump scared again though. But I'm ready this time. <laughs> hmm, no, I'm good. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> now, welcome to the stream. We're just reading. It's another day of reading instead of arting. Okay, that looks like a tombstone to you. Well, it's really a... Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I guess it is just a tombstone. <laughs> and here I thought I was just seeing things. But isn't that reassuring in a way? I mean, if those pirates buried their dead, they couldn't have been that bad. Ah, you're probably right. Hmm, probably. <laughs> this place really does give me the heebie-jeebies. Can we go back now? We're done investigating and we haven't seen anything unusual.
You want to go back? I'm afraid we can't do that. Why not, Mary? Wait, not Mary. Don't be so. Who? Huh? You mean you want to keep looking around? <laughs> we can't do that either. Oh Lord, he's a horror VN. He's a ghostly hand. Saria looks down to see that a ghastly white hand has taken hold of Mary's leg. <laughs> you have a gun, just shoot the ghost. Hey, Saria, we're friends, right? <laughs> You're not gonna go anywhere, right? Just shoot the ghost. Oh my god, they scream. <laughs> what do? Wasn't it Zarya? <laughs> What's happening out there? What's going on with this place? I still don't sense any vengeful spirits, but... Really? <laughs> I just can't stand it anymore. How much longer do we have to stay here? Just hold on. Even if there are spirits here, if we can just hold on to hold on until morning, we'll be okay. Until dawn. Ding. Morning. We just have to wait until morning. Yes. When the sun rises, most of the spirits will vanish. Look, the sun will come up and shine through that window, and then... And then what? Don't, don't scare me. Hmm. The house of horrors, ayo. <laughs> oh <My> lord! <laughs> He's screaming. Plus the crackling audio at the beginning of the scene. So sorry. You want to hear the scream again? And it, let's let it settle. Where am I? What the hell? You just ran outside it. I guess I got frightened and ran all the way out here. Having run out of the house, Barawa finds himself in the forest. As he stops to catch his breath, he takes a look around. <laughs> Vern, are you are you all right? Vern, where'd you go? <laughs> oh no, he must have been caught by those vengeful spirits. <laughs> We're in real trouble now. We better go to the to the mainland, mainland, and call for backup. <laughs> and now what happened to them? Lyria and Fairy screamed. <laughs> what is going on here? If I don't act soon, everyone could be in danger. <laughs> I'm also scared. I, the great detective Barawa, will save everyone and stop the spirits in their tracks. <laughs> Let the special investigation continue. <laughs> no, no one here either. Where did everyone go? Curse you vengeful spirits. Come out and show yourselves. 
Barawa looks down and notices a floorboard out of place. Peering through the cracks, he sees a large space below. After carefully removing the floorboard, Barawa finds a set of stairs that seem to lead to a room below. There are footprints here, and no dust. Maybe everyone went this way. <laughs> nope. Yeah, here goes nothing. You lost your underwear. You got nothing else to lose. Oh, it's the generic uh, place. At the bottom of the stairs, Barawa finds a room larger than the old house above. The cold air of the room blows across Barawa's face, cooling the sweat from his brow. What is this place? And what is all this stuff? Don't hmm, worry, sorry, Captain. Where are you? Hmm, where does this door lead? Barawa inspects the door. Though it is locked, a familiar expression is inscribed on it. Ah, no, a puzzle. Where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> But I'm not here, the Emera at least. It's only Barawa here. He has to solve it on his own. Not a puzzle? Pirates or spirits or whatever you are, get me some slack already. <laughs> Hold on everyone, I'll get this solved in a jiffy. Don't tell me to solve it. Gosh dang it. <sighs> Unlock the door. What is it? Enter in the numbers. Two? Okay. That's four. Ah, oh, see. Oh, see. One. Two. Six. Two, four, six, is it? If I get this wrong, I'm a dummy. Me, a dummy dumb. Right. <laughs> I just didn't want to think. Whatever. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> I'm a dummy dummy. Uh, stupid pirates and their stupid games. <laughs> Notorious pirates or not, I'll show you what a modern day detective can do. Just use his strength, is it? Yeah. Brute force. <laughs> okay, let's see what's behind door number three. Barawa takes a deep breath before opening the door and cautiously stepping inside. What awaits him turns out to be not so treacherous. What? What is it? Do we okay, continue? Ah, as always. Hey, everyone, where are you? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, detective, I'm so glad you're safe. Darn it, stop it. <laughs> Saria, and everyone else is here too. What the heck is going on? We're not really sure. Before we knew it, we here we were. Hmm. 
Hmm, not sure what's happening either, but there's a five-course meal laid out on the table. It looks pretty sus. I'm gonna eat it. I'm sure it's a trap, though I can't imagine vengeful spirits preparing a meal like that. Let's just leave it there as evidence. <laughs> yeah, she ate it. No, well, you see, I was pretty hungry, so I... Hmm. Hmm, Lyria, don't be so impulsive. You're gonna give me a heart attack. What? Lyria, are you feeling okay? I can't believe you. <laughs> there he is. Ah, relax, detective. I prepared that meal using only the freshest ingredients. Detective, it's... <laughs> Phantom Thief Shed Noir! There he is! Ah, he must have saved them from the ghosty ghosts. I was hoping you might try some. You must be hungry after all that running away. Without your underwear. <laughs> Regardless, I must admit, you've exceeded my expectations. I should have expected, expected nothing less from my rival. Hmm, oi oi, the phantom thief has shown himself. <laughs> Pretty stuff you got there, gimme. I knew you would come, my dear captain and crew. It has been too long. You knew we were coming? You mean you've been waiting for us? If I pulled you in a draw, does that mean you join our crew? Yeah, what? Ah, so that. Hmm, yes, and now it's time for your final test. What? A monster. <laughs> what? Our meal ends with a battle? <laughs> You're not getting a tip now. <laughs> now I eat food too, Tommy Rumbly. Phantom Thief will get you for this. Get ready to fight, Captain. Why, he gave us food, actually. <laughs> but it's also his fault that we're here in the first place. Let's go kick his minions ass. <laughs> Irene and Mary? Hmm, they're very large. We do the same old thing. Same old thing of being lazy to click. I'm gonna stretch my body. Oh my gosh, they're so strong. You shouldn't be using that bulldoze. Alright, I'm stepping in. Stepping in to do nothing. That bulldoze thing is woof. Shouldn't use that barrel. I hope we don't die. No, 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 no. Hmm, that's it. Oh, Kido. Just attack, la. Hmm, 
Everything. House of Horrors. Done. Think you can solve this one? Nah. The Truth Behind Mystery. But it's not chapter 6 yet. But we gotta solve the truth. <laughs> well, let it settle. It's morning time, and I still have to be awake for a bit while longer. It's until afternoon. That's how wet my sleeping schedule is. Hey, ya! Stop it already! Boop! Okay. Everyone, are you okay? <laughs> yes, we're fine. But are you okay, detective? <laughs> Very English. -u. Congratulations. You have passed the test. Kisama. <laughs> Dastard, you you damn thief, we got you now, phantom thief. Having defeated the monsters, Barawa takes a step forward and glares at his rival. But Shad Noir just looks right back at him with a smile. For those of you I have not met, allow me to introduce myself. I am Shad Noir, the world's greatest, greatest phantom thief. Are you an Irune? You have furry ears? Shut it. You said that was the last test, right? Are you saying you've been behind this the whole time? No. Probably not. Correct. With your will, it seems you have found a way. Hmm. Hmm. A way to what? There'll be hell to pay for shattering my childhood dreams. <laughs> Wait a second. The inscriptions? The skull? Are you saying you created all that? It was also authentic. <laughs> Darn you, Shan Noir, with your stupid puzzles that I felt like two out of three. <laughs> Why, thank you. I do believe I've outdone myself. And you must be that talented treasure hunter I've heard so much about. <laughs> Where really? <laughs> you scared me. Hmm, so those vengeful spirits in the old house were just smoke and mirrors. I must admit, they were impressive. <laughs> vengeful spirits? Whatever are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. It's an honor to be praised by the real thing. There was a little something I whipped up just for you. You came all this way after all. How do you make the translucent hand? What material do you use? <laughs> You sama, you bastard! <laughs> they translated as you dastard. I won't sit and take this. I'm capturing you here and now. Yeah, hold him in your big party eyes. Detective, wait! There's something strange about him. Why you so sus? <laughs> He's always strange. True that. But this time something is really different. He's never shown himself for this long before. Hmm. 
He didn't say sorry at all. You have a good head on the shoulders. Indeed, I have something important to discuss with you. Something important? Like what? Oh, another copycat. The letter you saw. It's a forgery. Someone is trying to impersonate me, and I want you to help me punish them. <laughs> what? Nandate! <laughs> Unbelievable! Aren't you the one who's always making the forgeries? I suppose you could call this the price of fame, but I can't allow this show to go on, and I'll need some clever assistance. You gotta pay us in bellowed notes. So all those pirate tests were just a part of the selection process. <laughs> An elaborate farce. Was there a reason behind all that? Or are you always this irritating? <laughs> I suppose both are true, though that might make it hard to trust me. I don't believe it. Yeah, this is probably just another one of your traps. Well, I don't know if it's a trap, but there's something off about your story. The perfume? Allow me to explain. Recently, I've been in search of a treasure. I knew that treasure was here on Palapagos Island, so I came here after sending a letter to City Hall. But things did not go as planned. Trill seeking ruffians flooded into the island and inhibited my progress. And that's when I knew it. Someone had taken my letter and rewritten it. Rewritten it? You mean some of it is real and some is fake? Precisely. I am going after a treasure here, but I have no interest in any pirate treasure. Surely you sense something was amiss? The unusual target, the leaked information. That was all set in place by the owner of the treasure, a clever distraction created by a brilliant mastermind. A mastermind? But that can't be. So, by tampering with that letter and releasing information, someone has antagonized the elusive phantom thief and stirred the treasure hunters in town. But why would anyone do such a thing? It's almost as if they... 
真の宝では公にできないその存在を知る者を始末する気なのさ Correct They don't want anyone to know about the treasure So they're trying to get rid of anyone who does つまり今回の事件の真相は怪盗抹殺計画In other words, it seems their true intention is this Eliminate the Phantom Thief. Okay, I'm gonna kill you right now, Shenwa. Goodbye, Twink. <laughs> Eliminate the Phantom Thief? There's a hidden treasure here? But the only people who could pull off something like this would be the leaders of Auguste. Wait a moment. I need, I need you. Eh, now I need you to answer a question for me. Will you help me? Only if you have the goods. You know what it is. Belial notes. You have them? Hmm, well, they are taking this a little too far. Yeah, he fed you some nice food, Lyria. <laughs> the Phantom Thief does steal things, but even he doesn't deserve something that terrible. Hmm. And that treasure is scandalous or something, right? All in all, this mastermind sounds pretty fishy. It seems two sly characters are trying to outfox each other. But this mastermind sounds like the greater of two evils. <laughs> I refuse to help. <laughs> Detective, I know how you feel, but can you try to be a little more understanding? No. Don't wanna. I will not be deceived. Don't cry wolf to us, Phantom Thief. Yeah, we ought to put you in chains and investigate this mastermind later. <laughs> hmm. I see. I would understand your reasons for doing so. Very well then, follow me. I will show you why I need your help. He just lied. On a skateboard. Hey, where'd he go? Oh, he's over there now. <laughs> What exactly is he going to show us? <laughs> you know how you say thief? Is it not how we pronounce it? Thief? Thief? Oh. <laughs> you just realize it. Thief, right? Darn it. <laughs> you just say thief. Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> Hmm, he might have just said, uh, said that so he could escape. Proceed with caution. <laughs> If I see a T, I say, I see. I pronounce the T, okay? <laughs> Accompanied by Chat Noir, the crew makes their way into the mysterious underground facility. But the deeper they go, the stranger their surroundings become. Oh, la la, where are we? In a cavern. Chat Noir, what is this place? <laughs> you say how you want. Yeah, <laughs> so, but I do try to say it properly. But oh well. You could say it's the factory for the treasure. Factory? 
All the way down here, so the legend is just a cover for a factory. It's the other way around. Because of the island's legendary status, this is just the place to create treasure. So the legend is. Yep. <laughs> so the legend is fake. We got all excited for nothing. Nothing. I'm not well versed in local lore, but there can be no smoke when there is no fire. Hmm. Legends are spread by those who have a story to tell, something they believe people would want to hear. <laughs> This is getting convoluted. You're saying the legend makes the treasure real? <laughs> My apologies. Let's just say that everyone values things differently. Yeah, you start making sense. You're always speaking in riddles. <laughs> You're as short-tempered as ever, detective. You should be glad to share the stage with me. I'll be glad to see you behind bars as soon as this is over. Why? Are you going to be arrested? <laughs> no, but you will be, and that's where I'll be seeing you. <laughs> I see. Well, I look forward to seeing your face when I break out of jail in front of you. <laughs> Go ahead and try. And just how much further are we walking anyway? Our destination lies just beyond that door. But the switch is a little too high for me to reach. You can't jump? Even for you, that's a pretty tall order. Allow me to show you what a great detective can do. <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> Hold it, I see right through your trap. Did it? Really? Was it that obvious? You were supposed to get a shock when you flipped that switch. Hmm. Well, I knew what you had in store. All I really need to do now is turn this knob and... Static electricity? In the summer? How rare! <laughs> you bastard, you've gone too far. What were, you, what were you going to do if someone else had touched it? <laughs> Relax. We're headed to the next room anyway. Okay, everyone, watch your step. Sled. And a keyboard. And I mean, skateboard. Are you okay? He completely predicted your moves. Hmm. 
<sighs> stupid Venom Thief and his stupid tricks. There's no way I'm helping you now. I'm going home. <laughs> Same. Well, I'm sure Shad Noir didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> of course he did. Oh boy, Barawa has had a pretty rough day. Getting shocked, peeing his pants, going commando as we speak. He did what? <laughs> Better keep up, Vern. We're right on the verge of uncovering this mystery. <laughs> Let go, Mateo. Ora? Ora, ora? He must always be reminded that he doesn't wear underwear at this moment. Following Chat Noir, the crew arrives at one of the rooms in the underground facility. There, they behold a rather unusual sight. Hey, this looks like the vault's duchy place. <laughs> what is this place? It's totally bizarre. You said this is a treasure factory, but where's the treasure? Hey, what's in that package? It looks like something's moving inside. There are beetles inside. Little tiny beetles. And what's up with this box? It's packed to the brim with the critters. The colorful beetles, colorful, colorful, colorful beetles that fill the room flow out of a strange machine. It dumps the beetles out like cargo. Bogano, unbelievable. A beetle manufacturing? How? How can this be? I'm afraid it's real, detective. You could say this place is like a rainbow stack beetle factory. The rainbow one is a gay beetle. A beetle factory? Well, these beetles are... Barawa said these beetles are worth a fortune. Money. Came by lots of McDonald's. Yeah, these rainbow stacks are loved by all, especially bug collectors. A long time ago, they were so rare that only a few existed. They were thought to have, to have disappeared completely, but then they reappeared with a value greater than diamonds. It turns out the mastermind exterminated the rainbow stacks on all the other islands by releasing their natural predators. He derailed entire ecosystems just for the sake of profit. How horrible. So the real treasure is this rainbow stacks. And all of this was the inspiration for that legend. Oh, 
The way they're bred and raised here, it's criminal. It's done without the slightest bit of empathy. I concur. I sensed that the market was being manipulated. That's what led me here to find the truth. The truth? Everyone, I have another request of you. Liberate these beetles and punish that mastermind. This is unacceptable. The cruelty inflicted upon these beetles cannot go unpunished. I will seek their vengeance. Ooh, a new character or is it someone we met? And who asked you to do that? <laughs> is the she the chief? Chief, yeah, the chief. Detective. Yeah, Saya, and the chief. As the crew turns around, they see the chief of Auguste City Hall standing with a gun pointed at Saria. <laughs> Where's the gun? Is it invisible like 4 kids censorship for Yu-Gi-Oh? Okay. I was worried that your treasure hunter might be a little too crafty, but that detective is also on the case. Baby face. You call yourself a great detective, Barawa. What a fool you are. So you're the mastermind behind all of this. Let Saria go. We're gonna kick your tiny ass. Perhaps you don't comprehend the situation at hand. Now that you know the truth, you must face the same fate as the Phantom Teeth. Hmm, we'll start with you, detective. Time to pay the price with your life. Bring it on, old man. I kick your ass. Yeah, right. You'll never get away with this. <laughs> Detective, what is it? Oh, Nanny. Continue. The mastermind reveals himself as the chief of City Hall. The one who had originally hired Barawa for the case. Holding Saria as a shield, he takes a shot at Barawa, but... <laughs> wow, his Baratiris deflected the shot. Huh? What happened? <laughs> Detective, are you okay? <laughs> Oh, I see. Hmm. Well, to shoot down my bullet with one of your own, I didn't take you for a sharpshooter, Phantom Thief. <laughs> you thought Bar... Wait. Oh. You have a gun? Okay. I'm afraid I can't allow you to continue your plot. That letter you rewrote was supposed to be my script. Hmm, <laughs> Phantom Thief, you desert. Ah, maybe just move a bit. But up. Get up, detective. Your time on this stage is not yet over. Hmm, you think this is a play? Hmm, I think I get it now. Hey, hey. Wrong voice for him. Hey, you jerk! Let Saria go right now. This is your last chance. Yeah, Vern, kick his ass. Yeah, 
Yeah, I can't believe you do all this just for money. It's horrible. <laughs> Dang, it's vibrating. Stop. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought your crew would get involved in this. What an amusing turn of events. As long as you're not vibrating, dude. You think I'm doing this for money? Hmm, my lofty plans are much too sophisticated for you dimwits to understand. What? You're the one in trouble here. Take a look around. The fact that you came here all alone shows how desperate you are. You think you can defeat us with that tiny pistol. Hmm, it seems it seems there is nothing left to discuss. I was never that interested in you to begin with. Though you did solve the Phantom Thief's puzzles. No! Oh my god! Well then, I've got a puzzle for you. That is, if you wish to save your precious assistant, don't make me do puzzles! No! A puzzle? What endos cry? No! If I fail this puzzle, will Saria die? Oh my god. It was a shocking reveal, is it really? I guess so. I guess Saria did hint a little bit earlier. What are you talking about? No, the horror of making me solve a puzzle. You have no choice, so allow me to begin. Shanoa, you do it. <laughs> Just shoot him right now. Oh my gosh. We have guns. Here is the puzzle. There are three small boxes laid upon that desk, right? I don't see it. One is filled with rainbow stacks, another with giant stacks, and the last one is empty. I will give you five hints. You will use the hints to determine which box is filled with rainbow stacks. I'm too hungry for thinking games, oh man. Someone please kick his ass. Sounds simple enough, right? We just need to figure out which box has the rainbow stacks, okay? Let's do this. Hint, the box on the left has the giant stacks, okay? On the left, on the left, empty. The box on the left is empty. Oh my god. Hint 3. The middle box has no rainbow stacks. Hint 4. The middle box is not empty. Hint 5. The box on the right has no giant stacks. Box on the right. On the left has no... I forgot now. So, which box has the rainbow stacks? The left? The middle or the right? <laughs> don't get it. The hints don't match up. 
な今言ったヒントの中で正しいものは一つだけだあ、ah, darn it yes that's because only one of them is true no I'm terrible at this shit no so we have to think logically then no don't make me think logically I'm too hungry <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> What do you think, Captain? Consider the hints for a moment, then let's compare answers. Darn it. I'm too hungry to think. Which box do you think is holding the rainbow stack? Like, from earlier reading, I think it's number three. But who knows, I might be wrong. What the heck? I can see the text again. On the left has giant stacks. On the left is empty again. Who、mm, has no rainbows? Only one is true. The rest is a lie. The box on the left has the giant stacks. And then. The second hint, the box on the left is empty. Maybe one of those two is a lie. But the hint 3, 4, 5 is actually true. Eh,、hey, wait. He said everything is a lie, right? Darn it. Only one of them is true. Hmm. Only one of them is true. Hmm, on the left. Okay, maybe it's hint 3, 4, 5, it doesn't matter. They're all lies. And the hint 1 and 2 is the only thing we need to focus on. Here's what I think. But which one is the true and lies? It's either it has giant stacks or not. Hey yo, one of them is true. Maybe it's the last. Hmm. Man, if Saria dies, oh. Oh well, it's not the entire party that's like getting them. Hmm. It's not empty, but it's probably. It's probably true. I'll take it. The left box. My dumbassery will cost me, I think. Oh my god, I got it! <laughs> Ah, my dumbassery. <laughs> well done. It seems we have come to the same conclusion. Yay, I was right. <laughs> Great work, Captain. The answer must be the last box. No, the left one. Are you sure? Shoot him now. Oh my god, you guys have guns. Three of you have guns. And. Ah, yeah. It has to be. That's the same one I came up with. Yeah, right, Barawa. <laughs> Indeed, that is the correct answer. What happens if you get it wrong? Will it be game over? He kills Saria? How about that? Now you've seen what a Mera can do. Ah, yeah. Mara can only die. Now let Saria go, you promise. Ah, I don't believe him. Yes, yes, of course. I'll keep my promise. Oh no, Lyria, not again. But who is going to save you? Grab, he had no intention of. While the crew ponders its situation, the chief 
rushes to the corner of the room. With a sinister grin, he pushes a button on the wall. Ah, everyone. <laughs> what the? I know, everyone will be screaming. Ah, no. Trap doors open, and a Mera and company fall deep underground. There's an even deeper underground. Ayo. As they drop further and further, the light above them disappears until they are completely engulfed in darkness. <sighs> ah la la. Oh, that's only chapter 4. It feels like a chapter 6, honestly. Hey y'all. Chapter 5. have to finish it. We gotta kick that old man's ass. And then we can sleep peacefully. And the next stream, I can color. I can color. Not tomorrow. Ugh. Are we in a cavern? We've been like in three caverns now. What a cruel trick. Captain, Vern, everyone, where are you? I know. Him trap of Chat Noir. There's no point in calling out to them. What we did? Thank God we did. Phantom Thief. The only ones here are you and me. It seems the trapdoors lead to different places. So after we fell, we became separated. After falling into the mastermind's trap, Barawa finds himself deep underground. Amera is nowhere in sight, and the one around seems to be the only one around seems to be Shad Noir. <laughs> That blasted chief, he was behind this the whole time. And you, why are you just standing there? What do you mean? Sorry, I'm still in danger. Aren't you worried about the crew? You don't want to stay down here, do you? You were bested by that mastermind and now you've put everyone in danger. This goes against your ideals as Phantom Thief. <laughs> ideals, huh? I suppose you're right. <laughs> His voice really slow. My apologies, detective. I didn't mean for things to turn out this way. I've never experienced this feeling before. After being deceived like that, I don't feel humiliated. I simply feel empty. Hey, what's going on with you? Is that all it took to break your spirit? Don't patronize me, detective. I played right into his hand. <laughs> Barrow giving pep talk to his rival. What does it matter now? Everyone is in danger. Where's your sense of duty? I have been bested by that man. <laughs> Fine, stay here and rot. <laughs> Hey, Marajo. Him angry, him pouty. <laughs> Come back. Hmm? 
怪盗の罠見破ったりそんなこと言って逃げる気だな I see right through your trap, Phantom Thief. You just said all that so you can make a break for it. What? I'm taking you away. I'll go down in history as the man that caught the Phantom Thief. Get up. Don't make me drag you along with this rope. Hmm. Detective. That's. Wakatta yo. Toriyais koko dash to sleep to s h o Alright, for now, let's focus on making our escape. Daga kiosk at a way. Kono henya mamono ga hanatari de ino de me. But be careful, there are monsters running loose around here. Don't make me fight with these two only. Yeah, don't remind me. Don't slow me down either. Unlikely duo. Oh, it's two of them, I guess. They work together. Barawa and Chat Noir joined forces and searched the cavern for Saria and the rest of the crew. There are more monsters down here than up there. Is this all part of the chief's scheme, too? Ariel Hanasta. Kare was sent to say that you could have said it to me. None that's me, no issue, and I don't know. That could very well be. This may be a result of all that tampering with the local ecosystem. Don't, him, I don't hear him say, Barawa. He uses this insect paradise for evil. I will punish him for that. Sebai. You wish to punish him? I agree it needs to be done, but should you be the one to do it? You're, you're just supposed to be the detective. <laughs> don't rain on my parade. We don't have time for idle chatter. They're both alone together. <laughs> well, you are the one asking questions. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to use that voice for Bar for <laughs> Chat Noir. So, why were you going after those rainbow stacks? Hmm? <laughs> What's that? I thought we didn't have time for idle chatter. <laughs> Don't dodge the issue. If you're looking to get people's attention, then getting your hands on the rainbow stack isn't the only way. You look pretty upset back at that factory. Why were you trying to help those beetles? <laughs> I can give you an answer, but I can't guarantee it will be true. Fine, I'll determine that for myself. <laughs> oh, really? Well, the truth is, my grandfather was a rainbow stag, and I'm trying to seek his vengeance. <laughs> Don't look so mad. You know my reasons will always be secret. <laughs> yeah, fess up. 
Well, considering the circumstances, I suppose I can tell you. I'm trying to break out from the same old routine. I woke up one day and realized that stealing the same old treasure has left me bored. <laughs> it was then that I heard about Rainbow Stag Mart, about the Rainbow Stag Market, and now he was and how it was being manipulated. And so here I am. <laughs> you just happen to hear about an insidious plot? You really think I believe that? <laughs> there is no fooling you, Barawa. Your senses are spot on tonight. Hmm, doing craving outside. Okay, I give. The truth is, when I was a child, I always wanted to be an entomologist. Why is it true? You wanted to study bugs? <laughs> yes. Why? Were you the same way? Oh my god, did you find a common ground? <laughs> lord. Oh lord. Just kiss already. <laughs> I always wondered if there was something I could do to prevent my beloved rainbow stags from going extinct. What a delightful coincidence. So then, have you researched the wildlife on this island? Hey, it's really true, is it? What? <laughs> Darn it, break me the screws loose and jump out of place when I push it. Oh no! So now I need to find a new way to get it to st to, to get it to stay stuck. Oh well, I hope you, you you find your way soon. Must be lots of work trying to get it. Take. Try to get it to work in the first place, hiya. Yeah, and I found this really big red, red stack. It was about the size of my palm. It's just two bros talking about bugs. <laughs> now that is something, but I found a giant stack. <laughs> 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 What? Those live here too? Where did you find it? Near the banks of a spring in the north. It seemed to only respond to a special type of bait. It was pretty hard, you know, collecting those beetles while I was being followed. Just what are you up to? And what is this special bait? You mean ripe bananas and honey? I always use green apples, and I try to go without using honey. <laughs> Green apples? How could you possibly go without using honey? But detective, if you'd like to know how I prepared it, I... <laughs> Wait, let me guess. Pepper. You put pepper on the bait. <laughs> 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 
夏の王冠の修正を利用したのさだがこんな短時間で導き出すとは Excellent deduction, detective. Yes, it corresponds with their behavior in summer. I never would have imagined you'd guess that so quickly. <laughs> I once tried the same thing myself, so do you still have those giant tags on you? Unfortunately, I had to let them go. Once things settle down, I plan on establishing facilities for them, after which I will return here again. Hmm, <laughs> you're so friendly with that, you know. That's great. You should invite me too. Wait, I mean, like I would ever help you. <laughs> Even though you nearly suggested the idea. There was a close one. I nearly fell into another one of your traps. We can't waste any more time here. Let's keep moving. They were bonding over bugs. Barawa and Shad Noir continue bickering back and forth as they fight off monsters. Yeah, we don't need to fight. Just then, they hear the sound of a roar coming from up ahead. A roar? Hmm? More monsters? But I also hear the sound of weapons. Prepare yourself, detective. It sounds like someone's been surrounded. Is it us? Or. Or. The first roar monster of the day. <laughs> Correct. They're coming out of the woodworks here. There's just no end to them. And there's no way to run. I guess not. Lyria, watch out behind you. I know. The roar monster behind her. Roar. Here's how the monster sounds like. Lyria, are you alright? Leave this to me. Roar. Some more. Don't let your guard down, detective. There is more where that came from. Alright, alright. Spare me the lecture. <laughs> you guys are okay. We're just glad you're safe, and as much as I'd hate to skip over our joyous reunion. I'm afraid there are still more monsters to fight. Detective, you flank them from the right. Won't <laughs> tell me what to do. Plans like that are too tedious anyway. I'll just take them all head on. He uses Baratiri powers. <laughs> yeah, Barawa, you should really listen to Shad Noir. <laughs> it's okay, Lyria. He's more the head on type. That's what makes him good for fighting monsters. No, I get it. You've affected Barawa's personality into your strategy. <laughs> Let's just try and keep up with him, Captain. Okay. Okie dokes. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> 
I guess we're okay now. Hmm, yeah. Looks like I was right to ignore that plan. It seems so. <laughs> so, Captain, where is everyone else? Have you not come across Mary or Fairy? <laughs> what? You mean they, they aren't with you? <laughs> we haven't seen them, and if they're not with you. <laughs> Oh no, then that's me. That means... They're in trouble, Barrow. We can't just stand here. Calm down, Vern. What are you talking about? It was just for a second, but I saw them. As Mary and Fairy fell, they got caught on the trap door. They must still be in that room, and they might be in his clutches. Nondate, what though? It can't be. I see. That is quite possible, isn't it? We had better hurry. That man is extremely dangerous. Yeah, we gotta save them. Ayo. Ayo. So close to the end. So close. The crew reunites with Barawa and Shad Noir, but after meeting, they realize that Saria, Mary, and Fairy may be in danger. Hoping to escape from the cavern, they hurriedly search for the exit. Hey everyone, I found a door. There's a door over here. Hmm. Alright, now we can get out of here. How do you fall down, Vern? You're floating, right? Oh, it's... it's locked. Hmm, he's being too careful for a villain. He should learn to live more dangerously. Hmm. <laughs> My fist just bounced off. This door is tougher than steel. I wouldn't recommend trying to break through. That could damage the lock, rendering the door impossible to open. So what do we do? Hey, it looks like there's some kind of note here. Oh no, not another puzzle. We don't want to do puzzle. The crew looks at the wall and sees a piece of parchment. On it, a set of mysterious words have been written. i oh, got two more puzzles to go, right? A riddle written on parchment. Is this how we get the door open? It looks just like one of those pirate tests. What's going on here? That looks exactly like something Shad Noir would make. It's practically identical. Identical. Yeah. I was just thinking the same thing. That's absurd. I didn't write that. It does look like my handwriting though. Could that oh, could that man really have? 
Look, scary monster. <laughs> Whoa, poor monsters. <laughs> what do we do? There's no other way around. Like, way out, I mean. <laughs> Seems like we got no choice here. We don't have time for riddles. Let's get out of here and look for another way. The key. What? What? What did you just say? Read the entire thing. Those monsters are the key to opening this door. Hey, yeah, but how do we use them? I uh, know, do we have to kill them in a certain order or what? <laughs> Darn it. Well, I leave that to you. Damn you, Shanoa. Damn you. I have my own riddle to solve. If that man is who I think he is, then none of this will end anytime soon. What? What? Why? Who do you think he is? Hey, don't go running off! <laughs> Barawa, Amira, those monsters are getting closer! Then we've got to fight them. Amira, you take them on. I'll read. I'll read off the note. Are y'all a puzzle? During a battle. Ugh. Ding ding. Okay, puzzle four. Escape the cavern. If you want to see the light of day, think with every step of the way. Pass the ta test of fire. Fire. Then that of air. Last will be of earth. Seek it if you dare. Fire, air, earth. Okay. What did I say? Just a fire. Hey, something's written on it. It will be loud, day. Eh? I think. Eh? Fire, air, earth. Okay, fire, air, earth. Okay. Oh, I didn't read. I'm sorry. I don't know, but it's deep. Must be some kind of hint. So, I, yeah, me alone. I don't want to die to this. But I must. Should I leave? Like. Fire, fire, air. You do fire first, right? Ayo, ayo. Fire. And then. Oh, no! It's no me! It's no me! It's not my fault! I didn't click attack. It automatically did it. It's no me! Oh no, please don't tell me I fail. No. <laughs> Barao will help. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's not my fault. Okay, dang, it won't open. What do we do, Barawa? Uh, this stupid puzzle. Just keep those monsters at bay and we'll... Roar! Haha, <laughs> you suck. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> oh my god. It's not my fault this time. You look like you're having trouble. With a clever smile, Chat Noir turns to banish the horde of monsters. As he does, the door lock clicks loudly. <laughs> ah well. Hey look, the door is unlocked. No thanks to Amara. Wow, did Shanua just figure that thing out instantaneously? Hmm, he must be feeling better. Sorry to keep you waiting. Now then, shall we move on? I suspect this cavern continues on past this door. 
What? It keeps going? It seems as if the island has been hollowed out to create this massive cavern. And by using this hidden space, that man has kept his evil plot secret, even from the people of Auguste. That chief is really pulling one over on everyone. He's one sneaky bandit. A sneaky bandit? Well put, Vern. So, have you figured anything out? And how do you know that guy anyway? I cannot say because I am not entirely sure myself. All I can say is that I'm fairly certain. <laughs> certain. Fine, whatever. Regardless of who he is, uh, all I know is that we have to keep moving. Hmm. Hold on, Saya, Mary, Fairy, we're coming. Bap -bap. Having opened the mysterious door, the crew moves on toward greater mystery. Who knows what lies in wait? It's the last chapter, oh my god. I wanna take a small break. This is your break. I need to drink water, I ain't go pee again. <laughs> this is your break. No, go listen to this. Kinda chill. <laughs> Hi y'all. Thank you to everyone who <laughs> stuck with this reading session. Hi y'all. Just want to finish the side story. And then we'll do GBF again next week. Need a long break from GBF. <laughs>
地。Okay, okay. We're all refreshed for chapter six. Let's check. Let's check um the sink. Down, up, down, up. Yay! Still nicely sink. All right. Chapter six, the last chapter, the ending. Then we're done for this week, GBF. Unveiling truth. Unbelievable! All of this is really underground. What? We're in Lumasido, the Lumasi Archipelago. An underground forest, if you call, if could, if you could call it that. Never thought I'd see something like this. The trunk of that tree is so big; it could easily be the one from that legend. A strange under underground world unfurls before a bewildered crew. Within the massive cavern, a mystical forest-like ecosystem thrives in secret. Maybe it's too low. I see. So this is what the legend meant by the center of the island. The core of this island serves as the main habitat for those ra beautiful rainbow stags. Those pirates must, must have seen this all those years ago. With time, it seems the legend has been altered to make it more believable. So that's what happened. But how do we go up from here? We've got to hurry and rescue everyone. Will there be oh. such convenience? Your friends are right here. We didn't need to go anywhere. Chief, you dastard! He calls everyone dastard. We've got you now. Let Saria go. Ever the loud mouth, aren't you? I thought he means like an impatient man, you think? I don't know. So you are still alive. I suppose that makes things a little more interesting. <laughs> hey, look! He's got them inside some kind of contraption. Wait, is that a guillotine? I, how do you pronounce a guillotine? Guillotine, is it? Is that a guillotine? A guillotine? I don't know. I think guillotine. <laughs> Detective, everyone. Laughing boldly, the chief stands in front of the guillotine as Saria, Mary, and Fairy are trapped helplessly. <laughs> Damn it, gosh darn it. Lyria, watch out! That old bat is totally bonkers. Oh no. If I fail at this, will, they, will their heads be cut off? Ay, ay, ay. Putting us in this thing seems like part of some terrible game. Oh no, so a role game? What the game? This is a soul reference. 
call it art if you will. Dang, old man. This work captures the ephemeral beauty and complexities of life and death, and is sure to work the mind. You monster, just what are you planning? What do you hope to accomplish from all this? This man has no respectable motives. No, well done, Phantom Deep. It seems only you can truly appreciate my work. <laughs> Your way of thinking is despicable. I do believe I told you that. You will understand someday. I do believe I responded like that. Shanoar, what are you talking about? Ah, uh, a double twist. That man is not the chief. He is merely wearing a clever disguise. Oh. Well, I suppose you could say he is my master, one of the criminal masterminds of the underworld. <sighs> Your master? A criminal mastermind? Mm -hmm. oh, my dear apprentice, it has been too long. I trust you have enjoyed my little game. Show sure, your true self. Oh my god, he's vibrating. In fear? Flashback, is it? Eh? Oh. Continue. Felt like very short. Chat Noir reveals that the man in disguise is none other than his former master, a criminal mastermind of the underworld. The man stands before the ominous looking guillotine and mocks the crew as Chat Noir stares at him in silence. <laughs> Hmm. Ryan Buck, merchant of death, he seldom appears on stage, instead pulling the strings from behind the curtain. Referring to his crimes as art, he sells his work unscrupulously on the black market. He enjoys nothing more than the pain and suffering of others. <laughs> you have this man as your master? Criticize me all you like, but aren't you the one out there spreading chaos? Chaos! How are you any different from me? Doesn't kill. Though I have no interest in discussing the matter, I would appreciate if you didn't if you didn't group us together. Unlike you, I don't toy with the lives of others. <laughs> Are you mad? And to think we used to be like father and son. Mm. Father and son, you say that after hiding your true identity and trying to get rid of me? <laughs> You've been getting in my way. My spy in Auguste told me all about your little letter. 
But ultimately, I decided I would rather see you grow as my apprentice. If you overcame my traps, great. If you fell prey to them, if you fell prey to them, great. In any case, I have already made arrangements for your body. <laughs> What's with this guy? He's totally nuts. He tells these nuts. In the beginning, I had no idea. I knew he was a man of the underworld, but I didn't know he was such a ghastly fellow. There was a time when this man taught me about the, about the dark arts. But then, I found out who he really was and decided to break away. How long? <laughs> so that's why your traps are so similar. She didn't tell me. As my apprentice and my son, no matter what happens, he will always be like me. Mm. I admit that our style is comparable, but our intentions could not be more different. You have always been my most beloved apprentice. Now is your chance to return to me. Who? Him angry. Let us skip the what? <laughs> Cut the crap. I can't listen to this mindless chatter any longer. Yeah, you beat his ass. <laughs> Let Saria go right now and release those rainbow stacks. I'll listen to the rest of your confession in jail. <laughs> The so-called great detective Barawa. Detective, do not provoke him any further. There's no telling what he'll do. But booty. <laughs> Your intellect serves you well. Surely you can see the button is at my finger tip. Tip, tips. Any foolish move on your part could be shortened. Uh, could shorten their lives. Dots. <laughs> 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 It's time to rekindle our friendship, my dear apprentice. What we do? Will you kick ass? No? Oh, we continue. Almost there. The crew confronts Rainbuck, who holds Saria and company hostage. Having the upper hand, Rainbuck tries to convince Chat Noir to join him once more. I'm giving you a chance here. Give up your petty crimes and join me again as my apprentice. Hmm. Why are you lonely? You seem as though you're growing feeble. Ah, <laughs> I am lonely, and the more I age, the more I become aware of my own mortality. Hanzai 
I desire a successor, and you would be the perfect criminal artist. You know this to be true? I have had many apprentices, but only you could ever surpass me. It is an honor to receive your praise, but I'm afraid I don't agree. I could never be the kind of person you're looking for. <laughs> That's because you've become weak. You've been playing too many games with that fool of a detective. Let him play that game. <laughs> and that's why I've come before you with the stage all set. <laughs> stage? You mean those guillotines? And that it was his own son and the mastermind being the father? They're not actually related, just they're like, I think. That's what they said, like father and son, but not uh, blood related. I have prepared more puzzles for you. The final puzzle, Haya. But this time, for every wrong answer, one of these girls will lose their head. No, the pressure. <laughs> I keep on failing them, oh my god. These puzzles are the most difficult ones yet. I created them to awaken you from your slumber. Nani the fuck? This has nothing to do with those girls. This is only between you and me. Yeah, let them go. <laughs> but if there is no penalty, then no one will take it seriously. Gosh dang it. Their lives may be trivial, but as the Phantom Thief, I know you cannot ignore their plight. Hmm. Damn you, you monster, you're rotten to the core. You probably torture them, even if we solve the puzzle. <laughs> Not torture, he just outright kills them with the guillotine. Believe what you will, but it won't change a thing. You have no say in the matter. <laughs> feel free to discuss the puzzle. I'll respond if I feel so inclined. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Shenwar, you saw the puzzle. I don't want any part of this. Shenwar. Yeah, Shenwar, you do it. You can solve his puzzle for sure. Time to beat him at his own game. That man may be mad, but his genius is the real deal. Having been by his side, I've learned that painfully well. But as I am now, I'm not sure if I can solve his puzzles. Oh, no. Yeah, do it. Come on now, pull it together. I know, I just... You can do it. Having been by your side, we know that painfully well. <laughs> See, hentai Gigi, this pervert old man, 
Yeah, don't you don't worry about us. Just make this old bat's head spin. <laughs> Solve this thing quick and impress us. Just like you did back at that old house. <laughs> Very well. Hold on, you tree. I will save you. Ye, you, not me. Yeah, you can do it. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I think if I get it wrong, Chet Noir will save me. I think. We'll be right here beside you. I don't want to go that all way. Maybe I have to do the guillotine if I <laughs> die here. Don't The side stories, I have the highest stake. Because it's only in the side story there's Belial. And I don't want to die to anyone except for Belial. <laughs> Show me what you can do. Show me your power. Now here's the puzzle. Shoot him. I won't allow this. What? Detective? Hey, what's going on with you, detective? Why are you talking like that? This is total nonsense. I won't take it anymore. Yeah, beat him up. Beat him up. <laughs> Brains, intellect, those aren't things that should determine who lives and who dies. <laughs> Chat Noir has seen the light and going against a small bad guy. But that's just his disguise though. We don't know how he truly looks like. Show your true form, Rainbow. He <laughs> beat his ass. <laughs> Impertinent fool. I'll start with your assistant, New Saria. What the hell? We fight him? For real? No. Continue. <laughs> he has a way to end the thing, eh? It's really short, huh? Feels really short. Ignoring Rainbug's puzzle, yeah. Barawa charges towards the guillotines. As he reaches to save Saria, the cold steel blade falls, <gasps> making a sound that echoes through the forest. Oh lord. Oh lord. <gasps> he got cut, is it? Barawa hunches over Saria. Stopping the blade with his back. What the hell? Why is the blade like stuck in his back? Jesus. Holy Jesus. Paratiri Jesus. Silence fills the air, ignoring the blood gushing from his back. Barawa carefully removes Sarya's restraints. Lord. <laughs> Dang, good thing he has big body and it, I guess it would chop chop a person in half. Are you okay, Saria? <laughs> but detective, you're bleeding all over. <laughs> what? Don't worry, the blade didn't strike any vital organs, really, oh my gosh, I can't imagine, the blade is like so big, right, I don't know, good thing I did all that training. Next is Mary, now how do you deactivate this thing, how can you speak pr normally with a blade behind you? I'm at a loss here. It's like a darn jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> hey, you're gonna make the blade drop? <laughs> That's my secret technique, only known among great detectives. That's how you solve a puzzle. What the hell did you do? What the hell? <laughs>
<laughs> he told him, say, you hold on, fairy. I've just got to... <sighs> you saved me, but are you sure you're okay? It looks like you've lost a lot of blood. <laughs> all the training, all this, um, skilling up. I'm pretty confident in what blood I have left. I've been eating all my vegetables after all. <laughs> yeah, my, my art, it's ruined. Oh, that was pretty crazy, and we didn't do a thing, but Barawa sure took care of everything quick. <gasps> that was amazing, Barawa. <laughs> Stop laughing and help him, oh my god. I see. Thinking about it now, that solution seems rather obvious. Yeah, just beat your old man. After I got caught up in Rainbow's rhetoric, I was convinced we had to solve his puzzles. But the, but the detective took a different approach. All he could think about was saving his friends. I should have expected nothing less from my rival. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was just tired of solving puzzles, say. See, we just wanna kick ass. <laughs> You savage, you mindless brute! He may be a mindless brute, but he's the one who defeated you. You see, his actions are not something you can account for. <laughs> That's right, he doesn't think things true like Saria. <laughs> he doesn't have adventuring skills like Mary, and he doesn't have special powers like Fairy. Okay, we just pointing out his bad things. But despite that, Barawa is still a great detective. <laughs> Silence, you fools! Curses! My work has all been for nothing! Ayo. Show your true self! <laughs> hey, he's doing something to that big tree! What is it? What you do? Rainbach administers a strange serum into the roots of the tree. As he does, the tree starts to rumble. Oh... Ooh. What are those things underneath? Gee, a triant. Triant? Trant? The tree. It's talking. Oh, Mimi burp. Is that a spirit? Maybe when he injected that serum, he awakened the spirit of the tree. <laughs> It's going to rampage because of the destruction of its ecosystem. It's trying to seek revenge. From what I can sense, it feels anger, sadness, pain, and regret. It's just like a vengeful spi spirit. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> mm. 
Why you get the serum out of your ears? Through the roots of this tree, I have given it great power, and now it will bury you. My beloved apprentice, this time my work was interrupted. But next time, I will see to it that you enjoy my work. Stop it, you desert. But I know what happened. Oh, and you lost a lot of blood. Barawa, are you okay? That gear thing got you pretty bad. Ew, that's one ugly tree. Hi, hi, so mango. Though I had, I hate to let that man go away. It seems we have a spirit to battle. Are you ready, everyone? Yay! We're always ready to fight. Let the detective sit this one out. We can take care of this ourselves. Yeah, as long as it's not a puzzle for you. <laughs> What is it, Barawa? Are you worried about little old me? <laughs> I don't need your pity, Chat Noir. Alright, Captain. Let's end this here and now. As long as I don't need to... To solve a puzzle. Hey, bullshit puzzle. A triant. What is it underneath him? Uh, uh, tombstones? Da, 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 da. You know what? I can just use the full thing. <laughs> Who the final boss? Oh, I can't even summon. Darn. Oh well. Miss have a really bad morning temper too. Maybe you mean me. Hi, young. It's so hard. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I cannot. Darn it. Cannot hold the thingy. Oh, well. Hmm. Get up. Hmm, I, do, I don't want to use my charge attack first, but oh well. Hmm. I fucking die. <laughs> this is a good time to look at what he got. I fucking died. Oh my god. Just don't bark up the wrong tree. Oh lord. <laughs> what he got? Spectacular heights. Be dazzled with one of the three stunts. We have three. Plain damage. Paralyzed effect. Oh, sorry. I haven't read. Remove charm. Blind. We want paralyzed. Let's do paralyzed. <laughs> Drain one charge, so don't you see? Okay, don't use that. How about you? Is anyone like dying? No. He didn't attack. Oh, he was paralyzed. Noise. Okay, a break. Hey, this is not good. Noise! Oh my god, they all can do charge attack. Oops. Easy peasy. 
even though I died. It's just me though, so it's fine. <laughs> oh, there he, there he is. Changing into that lady disguise as Therese. Why? Is that his favorite disguise? Is that his favorite disguise? Rainbow. Oh, they don't show his true identity, huh? Well, never know. Or maybe we will. Ending. Finally, we get to the ending. The crew defeat the giant tree, but miss their chance to catch Rainbow. After releasing the rainbow stack beetles back into the wild and finding the real chief, they return to Auguste City Hall. Hmm. This is the real chief. Detective, everyone, thank you so much for your help. <laughs> it's the least we could do. Are you feeling okay? I heard you were locked up in a storeroom this whole time. <laughs> At least he wasn't killed. Yes, I'll be fine. Though I was locked up by that terrible man. A kindly soul found me and ran for help. Who? Oh, oh, buddy! Hey, wolf. <laughs> Good work, my partner, buddy. As for his spy, well, he was acting as my secretary, but we were able to catch him after our little friend here saw through his disguise. Are you talking about the man who informed Rainbow about the Phantom Thief's letter? Were you able to extract any information from him? No, it seems Rainbuck was holding his family ransom. All he did was relay info to Rainbuck anyway. That Rainbuck is a treacherous man indeed, but fear not, Chief. I, Barawa, will continue to fight him. It seems like things in town have calmed down. I think we can say this case is closed. Yay. Yeah, but what are you gonna do about Rainbow? We can't just let him run free. Yeah, we gotta shoot him down. No doubt about that, especially since he's out looking for another apprentice. Chat Noir, what are you going to do? <laughs> hey, are you listening? Chat Noir? <laughs> yeah, I expected that. Oh, he's gone! <laughs> Bye -bye. Of course, he won't stick around to get captured. <laughs> <laughs> he was only standing there a second ago. Did he just disappear into thin air? What the heck? He didn't even need to run. He helped us out and everything. <laughs> yeah, but I guess we can let him go this time. <laughs> <laughs> no way, I'll never let you escape, Phantom Thief Chat Noir! <laughs> Just another day. 
another normal Friday of chasing that twink. I guess there'll always be rivals. We'll get him next time, detective. Hey, woof woof. Gee, buddy, go bite his ass. Man, I'm never gonna understand those guys. <laughs> Wow, Barawa sure healed fast from getting, like, almost chopped in half by blades, guillotine blades. We might have run into trouble, but we sure ended the summer with a bang. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> there really was a valuable experience, even though I thought I was gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> Rare insects, invigorating legends. We've made a great memory for ourselves here. <laughs> no. Yeah, we should come again next summer. Right, Amara? No, I don't want this all puzzles anymore. But we have to, there's the next the next um side story part of the detective barawa series and so as the dust settles the curtain closes on another mystery but it seems the feud between barawa and shat noir rages on with no end in sight and with it the sky will again be turned upside down detective barawa and the unfortunate fortune <laughs> and fortune, fortune, the end. Eee! We managed to pull through. What on? It's not the end. It's the epilogue. With the port freed up, the crew prepares the grand cipher for departure. In the midst of preparations, Amara finds a strange card floating in the breeze. Is it stinky card? Oh, Oh, what is it, Amara? Oh, it's a message. What does it say? Does it say these notes? Okay, what? Wow, is that from Chat Noir? <laughs> Dear Captain, I apologize for my abrupt disappearance. There were certain matters I had to attend to. What matters, you ask? To find out more, meet me at Palapagos Island. Hmm, P.S. Please keep this message a secret from the detective. Hell no! You can't order me around. I'm gonna tell the detective. Jeez, that guy is a weirdo true and true. But what is he talking about? Kinda wanna know. <laughs> oh well, I guess we'll just have to find out. Here we go there. A fan going noise. It's just a tree branch. Mm hmm. You've unlocked this quest. Right, right, right. Mystery. One left by here. Return to Palapa. Oh! I think we have to continue. Yay. It's not the end yet. Following the instructions on Shad Noir's message, Amara and company make their way to the meeting point. But when they arrive, there is no one in sight, so they decide to look for Shad Noir near the remains of Rainbuck's broken machines. Oh my god. Stop crackling the audio over. Lyria, please. 
We're here now. Where are you? It was a really good story. Yeah. They were scary moments. Funny moments. Commando moments. <laughs> That's weird. I don't see him anywhere. Yeah, but I'm sure this is the right place. Maybe he's just messing with us. You know, playing a trick on us or something. Darn it, we didn't tell him. Oof. But why would he do that? Barawa isn't even here. Oh, where'd you come from? From above? Sorry to keep you waiting, everyone. Wow, the phantom teeth. Where did you come from? Yeah, I asked that. You really surprised us there. Were you climbing that tree? My apologies. While I was waiting for you, I came across some unusual stag beetles. While observing them up close, it seems time just flew by. <laughs> what? You got distracted by beetles? Now you sound like Barawa. <laughs> In any case, welcome back. It is a pleasure to see you all again. Lyria, it's time to capture him. The pleasure is ours, so what is this about? Is there something you wanted to tell us? Yes, do you remember what happened here with Reinbach and his puzzles? Don't tell me you're making me do the puzzles in the end. <laughs> Are we gonna end the stream with my dumbassery? <laughs> yeah, we do. You mean when he was going crazy with the guillotines? What about it? <laughs> Yeah, it's almost the end. The detective managed to solve the solve the case that day, but I was still not satisfied. I had lost the battle of wits, and my pride as phantom thief would not allow me to forget it. That's when I decided to take a look around. I wanted to find out about Reinbach's puzzle, so I began to search for clues. What? You mean you were trying to find that puzzle? Yes. Precisely, since that man works in obsessively elaborate detail, I was sure he had left some kind of record behind. I know, it's the letter with terrible handwriting again. Chat Noir then pulls out a single piece of parchment. And here it is. Of course, I went ahead and derived the answer to his puzzle. Well, I'm not sure if you hate losing or if you're just too smart for your own good. <laughs> you're as brilliant as always, so is that why you called us here? You want to put our heads in the guillotine so that you can recreate the puzzle? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. You're too kind. Actually, I wanted to give the captain a chance to solve the puzzle. And to that, I say, no. 
No thanks. Oh, a chance to solve the puzzle. You see, over the last two cases, I've become increasingly more interested in your damasery. Damas abilities. Amara, no. your skills are top notch. Deny it all you like, but your mind seeks new challenges. No! And that is why I've invited you here. I would like to give you a chance to solve Brainbox puzzle. Wow, Chad Noir says your skills are top notch, Amara. Isn't that great? No, I don't feel good. Well, Amara is pretty talented, but we'll have to take Chad Noir's compliment with a grain of salt. <laughs> yeah, Vern. For once, I agree with you. Only this once. Also, we're on an adventure now, aren't we? We don't have time for more puzzles. Yeah, let's get out of here. Come now, are you saying you aren't interested, Vern? Yeah, nope. Hmm, very well. Let's do it this way then. Your weapon? Gimme. If you can solve the puzzle, then I'll give you one of my precious treasures. Think of it as a reward. Your weapon? Are you going to be an exclusive character too? One of your treasures? What is it actually? Hmm, really? That sounds great. Wait, don't tell me it's gonna be one of your stolen treasures. <laughs> don't be silly. It won't be something I stole. Whatever, dude. That settles it then. So are you ready, Captain? Sure. Mm. As ready as ever. Good luck, Amara. Oof. Darn it. Show my dumbassery one last time today. Time to get to it. Show him what you've got, Amara. My tummy rumbly. My brain very smooth. Ah, the phantom 60 hours? I mean 60, 60 minutes? An hour to solve this? What the hell? See the answer. Just looking. <laughs> hmm. Day one shows three and nine, and nothing else. What? What if I press this button? Can I? Does the triangle do anything, or is just is it just decoration? It's a it's a beetle puzzle. Alert! Alert! Nine? You know what? I really don't know. <laughs> Is it numbers? Notes. <laughs> Me say it. Me? Don't care. I literally don't care. Story? No, try again. Me see the answers. See the answer. I don't care. See you soon. Oh, okay. I don't know how. How all these beetles like come up with that? I don't know. Hey. See you soon. 
乗るか、そるか。<笑>さあ、準備はいいかい。I'm not spending all that time to solve a dang puzzle. Nice job! Yeah, I totally did it! <laughs> Looks like you get this one solved. Hell yeah! Me, with my brain. Yeah. <laughs> you sure are <laughs> genius, Amira. Hell yeah! Of course. <laughs> <laughs> There was an odd answer for an odd question. Oh, yo, hey, yo, I don't understand the puzzle at all. And I don't care to spend time to understand it. As I thought, you are in possession of one brilliant mind. Hell yeah, I am. Hey, yeah. But that Rhinebuck guy was crazy to the core. Are you sure he's not gonna be a problem, Chat Noir? <laughs> no need for concern. I have him all figured out. For the time being, he won't be a problem. <laughs> yeah, why you give? So, as promised, I will give you my treasure. I hope you cherish it as I did. What is it? Taking a mirror's hand, Shed Noir places a single elegant beetle inside. God dang it. God dang it. <laughs> now, okay, I went to great lengths to raise this beetle. Later, I'll give you the special equipment I used to raise it. Okay, I'll put them in my room. <laughs> what a beetle! I thought it was going to be something way better. Is it rainbowy? Oh my goodness, my tummy rumble. It's still pretty cool. I've never seen anything like it. Just look at those colors. What do you call this type of beetle? Victoria Kuanoko. Zenku Saidaiku no Kuanoko sa. It's a Victoria beetle, the finest of all beetles in the sky. Oh, hey, Victoria. The finest in all the sky. It must be worth a fortune. Maybe it's just a common beetle. What if we give it to Barawa? Who can say for sure? I've never attempted to calculate its value in money. More precious than gold and finer than any jewel. This beetle is nature's greatest treasure. I'ma wear it. I put it on my head. Yeah, Shen Wan, I think so too. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. Don't worry, we'll take good care of it. Thank you. I'll have to come and visit him sometime. And now... <laughs> I must bid you adieu. I hope to see you again someday. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Hold it right there, Phantom Thief. I've got you now. Barawa, what are you doing here? It was me, I told him. <laughs> You thought you could deceive me? There's nothing you can hide from a great detective. <laughs> the little dragon is so cute. Yeah, it's Vern. He's like the main character. <laughs> Sorry everyone. I managed to figure out what the Phantom Team was up to.
Is that what happened? I mean, it doesn't bother us, really. Yeah, catch that twink. You're true, Phantom Thief. And just what were you planning to do with the crew? Try to do dastardly stuff with us, Parawa. <laughs> Good work, detective. <laughs> but I'm afraid you'll never stop me. We will meet again someday, my dear rival. <laughs> Curse you and your cheap tricks, Phantom Thief. <laughs> it seems he knew you were coming and prepared his escape route. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll see him again someday. <laughs> and look, he, he gave us one of those bacteria beetles. <laughs> A bacteria beetle? I've never heard of that before. He probably just made that up. <gasps> Wait a sec, that's a Victoria Beetle. Do you want it, Barawa? What is it, Detective? Is it as rare and valuable as we thought? <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> Dear, the loud mouse comes in screaming that he's scared of ghosts. I wonder if he found his underwear by now. Have you seen Lupin the Third? Nope, I have not. But I know lots of people be a fan of that animal. Yeah, collectors call it the goddess of the beetle world. It's legendary. The goddess. <laughs> but it's male, isn't it? <laughs> Forget the details. I never thought I'd see one alive. Oh, it feels a little like Lupin. Is that how I pr how you pronounce it? Lupin? Or is it Lupine? I don't know. Lupin between those two. Let me see. Yeah, I see. I'm sure they take references from that. I'm, I remember it's quite popular anime in Japan, I think. I think. Barawa sure looks happy. I guess we better thank Chat Noir for the gift. What? <laughs> oh, you said Lupin. Oh, okay, but it's spelled Lupin. Oh, okay, Lupin. Lupin the third. Yeah, and give him a kiss too. Wait, I mean, like, I have anything to thank him for. <laughs> you give him a kiss, not us. <laughs> They're meant for each other, ayya. Anyway, just look at those massive streamlined jaws. This thing is at the top of its class. <laughs> Jefferson, can I hold it too, please? Yeah. <laughs> and Mera hands the beetle over to Barawa, who can hardly contain his excitement. And with that, the final curtain finally closes on the case in Insect Paradise. Yay, we donsies! I'm happy that they provide like an answer to the ridiculous puzzle. What's the summon? Oh, the triant. What is it? 40% boost? Oh, way. So, that's the side stories, like in GBF you have main quest, side story, fate episodes, and I've done like 40 chapters of main quest. By doing the main quest, we unlock lots of side quests. So right now, we've done two of the Detective Barawa series side stories. Um, 
the next one according to the list is we're not doing it today lah. but i just want to see if i can do it where is it mm, detective conan oh, it's actually a a crossover hmm wait maybe i need to go to the characters to the journal detective conan this one is supposed to be the third the next entry oh man i cannot play it this event has concluded but may appear again in the future hi y'all so we cannot continue the detective barawa anymore We have to wait, maybe someday it will come around. Hmm. Is it quest? Oh, yeah. You need to read. Lyria's thingy. How about the beetle, is it? I don't know. It's kinda hard to keep track. The new entry. I have to read. Must read. Mansion? Eh, no. No, this not. The detective, this, this side quest is, I think, the fourth one. It appeared last year, and I did it. I skipped all the events, so I don't know the story. I don't know the story. No. It. Where is it? House of Wales. Is it JL? I think Jack's candle, right? Where's Jack the most? Oh. This one from a side quest, actually. Neferish. No. Palapagos Island, right? What is it? A small, solitary island that sits among Auguste Isles. Its remote location makes it inaccessible to most people allowing a unique and distinct ecosystem to flourish. Some would even call Palapagos an insect paradise. Many unidentified creatures are said to dwell on the island, the mystery of which stirs the imaginations of adventurers all over. This, in turn, has given birth to countless legends about the island. Some fact, some fiction. Things that as you sky fair hmm. stack beetle a popular insect loved by men and women of all ages they normally reside in the forest but can also be spotted in remote villages each breed of stag beetle comes with its own share of unique characteristics and their majestic forms tend to make them a sought out item among collectors however Overhunting has unfortunately led to environmental disruption in recent years. I think that's it for this side story. Yeah. We'll read others another time. Just focus on the side story. <laughs> really good story. We learned he loves books too. Yeah, same as Chat Noir. So next, GBF. Wait, I haven't decided what, what to play for next GBF. Stop crackling the audio. What side story, huh? <laughs> Don't I need. Stop being wonky, right? All right, whatever. And just keep it. Hmm. Priestess of the Dunes. Oh, yeah, we're doing Lowane. Where is Lowane's? We're doing the bros. The heck is it? 
this I think right I'm looking at a list I have right now which character I want to do yeah we could also do primal resonance now we do Lowain this Three fun loving guys have returned to the all stomping grounds, a diner somewhere in Port Breeze. The three dudes, Lowain, Elsom, and Tomoy, sit and have a nostalgic get together. That's for next week, I guess. Yeah. Be yay. We'll do that next week. So we'll call it here. Oopsie. I meant to go to home. Thank you to everyone for coming to my reading stream with my wonky audio. Okay, at least it's fine here. Yeah, I wanna say thank you to Yamper for subscribing and gifting the sub subscription to 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 Han. Oh my God, thank you to Risa for subscribing too. I hope everyone have a nice day. I've been... Whoa! Eight hours? Eight hours of streaming. I'm about to die. I need to feed my kitty cats. I hope you guys have a nice day. Have a nice night. Oh, feed your kitty cats. <laughs> what else? Am I forgetting something? I feel like I am. <laughs> Yeah, have a lovely evening, morning, or what it is, yeah. I don't know either. <laughs> yeah, we'll call it here today. I'm too lazy to read, as always. So terrible. But, okay, dogs. Um, I won't be streaming tomorrow. No, I am so tired. <laughs> I'll just chill in someone else's stream tomorrow. Maybe the day after, I'll do an art stream. Gonna color. Alright, bye bye. Let's go eat some nice food, eh? Bye bye.